ready to start the June 29th select board meeting. Our end of the fiscal year. Sort things out, see what they look like. I'm going to be glad when we have our regular printed out packets up here. Or, it, or tablet. That's right. even, even that I admit. <laughs> I'm a printer. <clears throat> okay, well, so now do we, who do we have on joining us? We got Kim, Allie, Ryan. Ryan. Okay. Um, is that any, any public comment or just where they leap in? Okay, we'll do the. We'll talk about the about any union stuff at the end. I assume that's the best way to do it. Alrighty. The next is Lamoille Fibernet resolution. Okay, and we had a resolution approval actually back on June fifteenth, right. and since then the. Governor signed the authorization for you to vote the resolution. So it wasn't in place on the 15th. It was put in place on the 23rd of June. So this is a ratification, if you will, but it's the uh, resolution vote to have High Park join the Lamoille Fibernet Communications Union District and at least two other towns, if not three, are doing their votes in early July. Um, and the regional board will meet, I think they're thinking of July 13th. And that's the first meeting of this new regional board with the representatives from each of the towns that had a select board vote. So our representative would be Michael Rooney and each of the other towns will also appoint one person. And then they'll do all the bylaws and rules and all those things that a new governmental entity does. And what other towns have already voted? No, we had first. We were the first? Okay. I think Johnson and Belvedere are the first week, next week. Next week, okay. Uh, Waterville, Eden has talked about it, but I haven't heard too much about them lately. Wolka we'll joined the NEK CUD. Right. And you know Morristown what most is trying. They're talking about it. Okay. So I don't know if they're committed yet. Did Cambridge go do their own thing or is going another? Which time? Cambridge. Cambridge should be coming. Okay. Yeah. I don't have a date for them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's what's happening. And of course, Michael will report to the select board as this other board gets going. Our current Hyde Park Fiber Committee is likely to continue in a kind of a right. monitoring role as the other group starts going. And at some point, they may not need to be anymore or they may stay and just need to monitor the regional board for the select board so that you don't have to watch it as closely yeah it'd be um, nice to have a group or a, uh, whether they're formal or not that are willing to yeah they're, i mean they're, they're <coughs> into this kind of stuff so <laughs> speak, right. so. because <laughs> my the, ability to understand well, any of this after the about the first or, sentence yeah, whether going. they're part of the committee or not they'll probably uh, want them to stay interested okay so do we need to vote it again? Yes, you should we'll vote it now. Have to that vote it again. Post the governor's okay. authorization. So I guess what we need is a motion to do what we did before, <laughs> which is what to join the Lamoille Fiber Net. So we'll do. Second. Okay, and we know that the town representative is Michael Rooney. And he's on there for a year. Okay, I guess. Any more discussion? No? Good. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. <clears throat> the Center Road Culverts Purchase Order. That is... I think four and five kind of run together in some ways. Yeah. As you know, we've been talking about Center Road for quite some time. We've completed the analysis, I guess you could call it, of the sizing of the culverts and found that one of them had to be booted up up the chain to a state permit. 
The rest are all exempt from state permitting, which is good. Chris Brunel came and looked at everything. Watershed Consulting helped complete that work. Mark French took Watershed's report, accepting that one, which is a larger structure, and put together a purchase order, which is $30,000. And that money is going to would come from the assignment that you all made last June, 23900 plus unspent money in erosion control. I have, I have the other note. There's two other, there's another one other line item here. Don't we budget 30,000 a year? I mean, 30,000? Every other, every other year. So last, 2020, 20, sorry, 20, 20 had zero. 2019, where the 23,900 was assigned from, was your 30,000 balance. So we had 23,000 left over from that. Yeah, okay. from 19. So from 19. So now we're at the very end of 20, 20. we're finally you know, proposing to spend it. And then July 1, we have another 30 for the next bunch of culverts. And we did look at three different providers yeah. for the culverts, and it was the lowest price. One plastic? And it's the gray, gray ones, not the black ones. It's smooth. So it should be smooth, yeah. Well, uh, any culverts that are in there now are going to be dug up, right? They're going to be removed. That's my understanding. Yeah. I mean, we haven't gotten to the RFP yet. The RFP for the actual contractor work, because some of them need one or two larger excavators to get in there because they're deep. Uh, the scope of work needs to be fine-tuned to answer that question. So, for example, I believe all of the culverts are planned to be replaced in their existing location, which means you have to yank the current one out. Well, there was one up there we looked at. Or the alteration of the angle of the uh, or of the culvert, yeah. For a better alignment. Yeah. yeah. Right. So what that must happen at the, the main tattoo that I was Yes. Yeah. 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 So are they gonna we're gonna culvert one year and, and pave and stuff the next? Well, we got to see how it, everything goes. Well, I think, I think that's what this conversation is going to get us into. Exactly. Right. It's going to lead right. us to that. Just, right, just because of the timing of everything. Now, did you, did you check in to get the bomb and doing the whole thing? Yet? No. No, because we, we think we can do it without it. Yeah. Okay. There may be... Up to... Up to... Uh, Cleveland Corners. Cleveland, was it Cleveland Corners or were we, were we going to go up to... Um, Oh, Tenny. 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 Tenny Road. Yeah. From the Marshall Line to the Tenny Road. The little were options. And, you know, on um, dig up the old culverts and put the new ones in. There's one there that's got to be put down the road just a little farther. The first one right there by Reed's. Yeah, by Mrs. Reed's. Yeah. You know, I'm um, going to dig that old one up and then put a new one in. Right, and doing that at a whole different angle and everything, right? I mean, it was... It Where, was where's, where's the great big one that has to be, that we've got to get the yes, permit? Yes, yes. Okay. Or G, or G, okay. Uh, Gal, Cali, or... Yeah, 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 okay. Okay. Um, right, so... so it's trying to figure out a variety of money and how much it's all actually going to cost. And one of the things it seems to me, we've got more culvert is getting all the years mixed up. So we got we have the culverts bought. I mean we signed this and we've got the culverts bought, except for the big one, right? Right. And I don't know, I mean it's so late in the year. Because sort of everything, <laughs> from Halloween forward, everything just has been sort of delayed, put off, messed up, you know, that the Halloween flood just got so many things far behind, and then trying to fix that up this spring, and then of course with COVID, and that's put a delay on everything. And I know our original aspirations were to be able to do the culverts this year and, and that's, tell me if I'm right, the culverts this year and let everything settle and put some covering over it and then let it settle and then pave it the next year. 
it seems, I mean, here we are, it's July. Um, is, it, is it better in the pack? The work that they did last year, because I'm up that way often, see, it seems to be great. You're up there all the time. The road seems to be in pretty good shape. I'm driving it. The center road? Yeah. In good shape? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are, do you remember what it was last year? <laughs> I, I, I thought we talked about uh, if we had the money yeah. to, to do the culverts and then put some gravel on there and then um, grind that right. and then just put a base on it for this yeah. year. For yeah. this year, right. right. You know. But being this time of year, do we have time to do that realistically? And then we've got the great big culvert that somebody else is going to have to come in and do it. Well, we, might, some be, of this, we right? might only be able to go to Cleveland Corners, like he said, because that big culvert's after Cleveland Corners. Yeah, okay. So even if we went from Marshall Line to Cleveland Corners and dug all the culverts up, did all the culverts, okay, and then set back and grind, grind that up, yeah. and then just put a base on it, yeah. you know, I mean... It depends on how long it's going to take them to do that culvert. Then, then you make sure do the same thing on the upper. On the upper hand. Hand. Yeah. Then pave it all at once. And then well, do a base this winter on the old the, the on, stuff we tore up. Do a base yeah, on that. Right. And then next year come back in and do that up through there and do a top coat on this. If we have to, we'll just do a base coat on the up from the second corner. The reason is we want it to compact. Right. As right. much as use the traffic. Uh, not only with us compacting, but to have the traffic compacted, and then and then the final coat goes over it. It shouldn't get that cupping into it from the traffic as much. It's so a, we're gonna just it. so I understand, you want to pull the culvert, you you want to grind it and put it on Tenney Hill to march it there, march it. If, yep. if we could do that, next, next year do the same thing on the other path. Yeah. Then next year you're going to pay from Tenney Hill down. And next year, what we do is you come in, put a good top in from Marshall Line up to wherever we go this year, and then next year put a base on that up there, and just let that set it. Up then, then, then tire, then, then finish up the whole then thing. Finish. But yeah, it, it gives it time to settle, David. Yeah. A good yeah. example is that makes just, above, um, just above, just um, above Casella's up there. Mm -hmm. You see them culverts? Yeah. They had to fill that one in. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. yeah. We want to get the most out of our money yeah. by, by doing it that way. And then letting the traffic, and then there's going to be some uh, possible development up in there, stuff like that. So there'll be some big trucks going up and down there. That'll push that down, compact it in, and then we'll, we'll level it all up and, uh, with, uh, with that coat and, and then come back in and pave it all when we're completed the whole. No, I'm okay for doing it right. In, 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 in. Yeah, so I think this year, because of the, the big culverts after that we go, Morristown line to Cleveland Corners Road. Right? I think that's people really should be happy with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, but that makes sense that if the big culverts are after, why is that sort of a, it's also kind of an obvious stop point. I mean, if you, instead of just sort of being. Well, it's measurable. It, it, it's a measurable measure point and it's something we yeah. can gauge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it makes sense to say, you know, we're going as far as Cleveland Corners this year, and then it's... Exactly. How, okay, you distance guys, is that how much, 40% of the distance? No. No, almost half. half, yeah, half. Is it almost half? It's three uh, well, Tenny, Tenny was half. Tenny was half. It's three miles from the road to you know, make me seven. Okay, all right, so if Tenny is half, then this ought to be about 40% of the way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 I would 40, say. 40, yeah, okay. 40, 38. Okay. You know, yeah. Who cares? I mean, right. yeah. but okay. you're, you got the majority of it. You got the majority of it. Yeah. You got 40% is the majority. <laughs> but it'll, it'll give us a projection. It'll also give us a projection for That's next right. year, too. Good. <laughs> it'll give us a projection on the. Uh, well, yeah, we'll have, we'll have like, a much better idea. Do we. I know everybody has a, has opinions, but do we know what's actually under that road? And that's where we're doing. Uh, well, part, I part of it's going to tell us one thing, but it doesn't tell us what the rest of the yeah. Is. And, and I went back to the history, and I went yeah. to talk to Ken Harvey. Okay. And Car Ken Harvey stated that uh, it had a good base underneath it because the work they did years ago, they did improve the base of it. Okay. So when we grind that. Uh, the first part will know. Yes, sure. gotcha. we should okay. be able to find out if it's different than what we 
think, then we make adjustments on the second half. Okay. Are you going to put any gravel on that? <laughs> I'd like to put some of our gravel onto it and then, then uh, grind it all together. Grind it together, okay. mill it in there. I don't know if it's really been resolved how much, if it's going to be uh, five inches, 10 inches of, of gravel we put in there, that type of thing. But uh, it'd be nice to uh, get that in there and get that good base established on top of what we have there. Well, if you and, put, and then Ron mm -hmm. had mentioned that we can go in there and and uh, and see. Now we talked about possibly getting somebody to to look at that. Yeah. So again, <laughs> we're the people that talk without all the information, right? It's like you need the information. So on a three point two or a one mile long road, you're going to find variations because of the way the roads were all built. Sometimes they just took rocks and sticks and threw them in the middle. Other times they started off the right way and laid fabric and did it, you know, different. So everybody has their own history of that road, but the treatment type that you pick, whether it's a shin and overlay smooth road concept or whether it's going down and trying to redo the base a little bit, which is the ultimate one where you actually won't worry about the base. You worry about drainage first, that's, that's a sort of a no-brainer because you don't have to do that. But So of these two or three other, well, three or four really treatment types that you could do to your pavement from or just a maintenance project, it's not a rebuild the road, but you have four different maintenance options. A lot of that is based on that sub-base. So there's only two ways to get the sub-base. You're going to get some information with your culvert removals, which is really good information because you're going down a lot deeper than you normally would to worry about exactly. the for the sections that you don't have good information, you could do soil boring. So we just did some of those on, um, we did six or seven or eight of them up at the old hotel. It's like a half day thing. And they pull off a log of that drill to so go down four or five feet probably. And it will tell you what you're dealing with. Yeah. And yeah. you might, in some of these you might get, because you have wheel ruts from 20 years of travel, you might get a milling job of three or four inches and you put it right back. Because all you're trying to do is get the surface nice because the base is proving to be in good condition. Or you might go down two feet and find out you're hitting water and stumps and you know, then it's a different type of project. So rather than think about it too much, I think that's what I, Brian and I were talking about. What does the town need for information on 3.2? Because you're looking at a million dollar project after all said and done. So how much time and effort do you do into the sort of spend a a few weeks or whatever, doing a more detailed study so that you kind of set aside the question a little bit better. I think well, probably a lot better if you can right. start That's to know what's under the, under the road. So you might have the same treatment for the first, you know, three quarters of a mile, maybe the whole thing. You got to do a reclaim, you got to go down 10 inches, add gravel and really build that up because it's it's really bad. There. You might get up towards Dave's house and find out it's, it's just wear and tear of the road that's causing a problem, but you can go down four or five inches yeah. of good gravel. I, I want to test it because that's only the, the two. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of I sense. Think you, get off, you sort of get off yeah. stop there because yeah. we have these options to pick from. But, but, but I can I can tell you that from Morris's Dairy up to at least Tinny Hill, that is two sides of the stone wall pushed in to make that road. Up my way, when they did that hill, that was uh, that was uh, dug down and it was uh, uh, fabric up through. I think Ken talked about that up by your way. Up yeah. there in, in the new section they put from the edge of my lawn up through to the teeth. That that was dug down in fabric. That that's gonna be a lot easier than than, than, than the boulders. And based on that finding right. that we'll yeah. have from the yeah. testing, we'll determine how we proceed forward and hopefully it'll save it'll save us some money, hopefully. But it's just Ron says once you do your culverts, you're going to have a good clue. You'll yeah. have you'll have that, yeah, that, that as well. Yeah, yeah we could. Yeah. We, we, so, and with twenty, was it 20, 20 crossings or whatever, you'll have a lot of information that most towns don't have because they they, they just don't do that much work all at once. A lot of times, the towns just do the inch and a half overlay and move on because it's right. the longest mile. But they're back at eight years, yeah. trying to solve a problem that should have been fourteen yeah. years. Do we have any idea when? Some of those culverts were replaced in then, or put in, or it was over 20, anyway. Over 20. I, I don't think the road's been touched for a long time, I think. Even, oh, even 12, with paving. 12 years ago, or 11 years ago, depending on how long I've been on the board, it's questionable. <laughs> that first year I was on the board, they tried to save money and put that cold chip coat on it. Oh. And, and they filled all these ruts and stuff, and it looked good for the first year, then it started, then it started back coming again. Yeah. 
because you just push it out. Yep. You go up there, you walk up through there, there's cracks in there. You look down those cracks, and I'm not lying, some of those cracks are that deep because of just layers and layers of that chip thing yep. in the, the, the asphalt. And Great stuff. for water yeah. Yeah. So it's got to be, it's got to be ground back to that gravel. The whole road. Well, no question about it. Did you, you put and, and, the, and the testing will confirm that as well. Yes. Yeah. Did you put tire on top of tire, that bathtub, it, it's on the bathtub. Yeah. And you actually save a lot of time by going up through there, doing your culverts and grinding it and putting the gravel on, whatever. Because every culvert you, <laughs> that you dig up, you've got to cut the pavement and then you've got to refill it with blacktop for the winter. Yeah, you know, so that sure, takes right. time yeah. to put another three to four inches of blacktop in right. there. And then the next year you come along, if you grind it the next year, you're grinding that new blacktop off. But you're exactly. saying just grind it and leave it no blacktop on exactly. the top. Well, that's what I I would do. The it first thing I would do is I I try to get it grind it, but get it grinded, and then you don't even have to mess with the blacktop when you're doing your culvert. Exactly, and, and that will save us some salt this winter because you're going to salt that rope. Oh, no, no, we got to put a surface. yeah. You'll salt it. You'll salt it, but well, you'll save good. you'll save salt because it's so much smoother. Yeah, but, but you tip, you, you, you're just you, going to grind it and, and, and pack it. And no, grind it, pack it, and then but put a top and coat down. on it, black top for the winter. First year, first yeah, year, just the base, just the base. Oh, thing. Yeah, okay. yeah, just the base. Leave the base. But the sooner we can get in there, and sooner there's some more traffic and more compact that it will get from the traffic in there to get it. Mm -hmm. So we want it, so we we put the pavement on. We won't get that cupping and the and the pushing out because it'll be packed tired, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Then we put the chloride to it too. When it was uh, after we get it graded out and stuff, it'll compact really good in there. And, and uh, so if cool. we here we are at the first of July, um, we got to have. I assume that some of the culverts that we need the bigger equipment with are from. Morristown line to Cleveland Corners Road. It's the other end. It's the bigger. Uh, yeah, but the first, but the what we're talking about doing this year. Yeah. Okay, just those culverts, right? I'm just, I'm just picking sure. more because that's easy. Okay. Can we do that ourselves, or do we have to contract? And then how? That's a lot of work. It, yeah, we'd have to contract it. I'm, I'm, I'm we'd have, we don't have the equipment to do it, meaning right. an excavator to could probably do it properly, lift those culverts, get them set into place, hold them, and shove them together. Whatever we've got to do with it, you're going to need to have the right piece of equipment to, to are put it we, in. Are we going to be able to find somebody that gives us a reasonable bid, or are people already all At busy? The pace we're going right now. Um, we well, I'll tell you one thing that I heard the other day, and I was surprised to hear this. I know I want to use any contractors we can around here first. Yeah. Yeah. Ireland. I know a guy, his son works for Ireland. And they're saying they don't have hardly no work at all. This is unbelievable for Ireland. And that's what I was told the other day. So, you know, we got to get our contractors around here first. But mm -hmm. there's no doubt about that. And I want to specify our contractors first. Yep. As long as it's a reasonable bid. As long as it's a reasonable <laughs> bid. Very good. No, but I'm just saying there is contractors out there that do apparently need work. Back, back in the uh, time, we, we had a rule of thumb that was like 5%. 5%. Well, we could set something like yeah, Susan. Yeah, right, do so, yeah, yeah. If, just if, 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 uh, if a high parking contractor was five percent different, we would. That would be fine with me. I don't yeah. know about the other two, but yeah. Yeah, or even just in this region, it's yeah. you know, right, right, it's yeah. fine, but right. By local. No, it's no, it's true, but I'm just it. saying there is that there is people out there that can do it. That and, There's and so another one, work. another one I understand it's competitive. is is Tatro. Yeah, it's competitive. It's interesting because I well right. Yeah, I would talk so too. I was, well, so we're talking, we're talking, we're talking with some builders and right, they're just, like, just oh, to put it up for bed. I mean, Joe yeah, can do see it. What happens, right? Uh, Woody could do it. Yeah, uh, Jerry. Jerry Audi could do it. Okay, and so to make sure that so this year what we're looking for is town line to Cleveland Corners. 
those are the culverts we're doing. Them are the ones that right, are... and 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 get that is done so that it can then just an overlay and we get through the. Then next year we do Cleveland Corners, the rest of the. Oh, the, way up to the... Would, that would give us plenty of time in January to be looking for bids on. Uh, on when we should that be, yeah. yeah. Okay, I mean, and that's when we do the rest of it, and and then also in that year we. Well, Kristen. Would you do the finish? And that's I don't know. Would you do the finish on the first half, or are you better to leave that? I uh, skip a year. I don't and do think I'd want to leave. I don't think I'd want to leave with what I've had for experience. You don't want to leave a base two years. Okay. So what we were talking about is first year, like we talked about, that there's a base coat put yeah, on there. Yeah, no. Okay, and then we'll put a base coat. Hopefully, they jump on it in the springtime. Okay, so yeah. there's a base coat on it for the whole summer. On the on the upper half, and oh, okay. we'll still okay. be driving on the lower half. Yeah. And then towards the fall, we go in there and we finish up, finish it all the way down through. Yeah. And then both time both have have plenty of time to compact and yeah. uh, and I and I don't think it'll move on us and uh, uh, using your word back up you know that type of thing and it'll avoid that and give it a better surface to pave on, better quality. Okay. Especially with the millings already <laughs> in it. And, Pack down and keep, like I said, chloride going to it. So, I guess I guess four is we know we want to go ahead and buy the and buy the culverts. That makes you know. And then do we end up? Does he keep them for us, or do we get them brought over here? To, well, there's an option. They can either store them down there. Yeah, to, uh, I'll figure that out. Down there, but yeah, okay. or we can have them up here. Okay, then we can keep them from this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I guess let's with four. Let's agree. We need a motion to approve the purchase order for the cult for the center road culverts. Now, did we purchase? Did we purchase them for them all, or did we purchase them from Cleveland Corners down? This is all. That's this is all of them, and and I can't see them. You're going to get them going down in price by next yeah, year. Right. Yeah, so. you're going to get a better deal if you buy them all at once. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. Both. So moved. Second. Okay. Any more discussion? We're good. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. That's great. We're making progress. Oh, that's right. We've got the That's right. It's like, yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fireworks. When, when, do do <laughs> when are you going to post this in the paper? Posting what? When the. The work needs to be done. The work, the the right. We, Tomorrow. Yeah, we need to get a, a little bit better on the RFP. So the RFP for just the culverts is pretty simple we have 12, 17 i think culverts and that's so that'll be good because we can be drawing the data from the excavating on that plus we can then get can lined up the with the it. other person right. to, to uh, do the right. research the on so that. we have the sizing we have the locations we have the the, the scope of the work and we can get in the paper pretty quickly uh, the only thing, the only thing I'm going to throw out there is uh, whatever's in that road for culverts have to be dug out. Yes, there you and go. I don't want to see nothing myself with culverts that are left in the road filled up with concrete. No. You bring them out. Yeah, the only time they yeah. could actually yeah. fill them with concrete is if it's going to save you a lot of money. And I think because we're replacing things on in the same place. Well, we're replacing them that, in the same place, right? You, you don't, don't have, have that option. option. Right. Well, there's there's one of them that's going to be, if there's one of them there, it's going to be moved down the road. Just a, a distance and then and then angled a little bit. You're just going to have to dig that one up. You're going to have two two plus spots dug up, you know, because it runs across one woman's lawn, goes down over the bank when they built the house. They added on to the town culvert that should have never been done, but they did it back then. That's cool. the way things were done. But they got that culvert, get to the person's lawn, mm -hmm. and then from there out, it's whatever that she wants to do. Yeah. Once it's off our right. the lady that had all the water running into her yard? No. It's, it's Reed's place. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, Michael Rooney, hello. Okay, so we need to get that out. See, at the at the 
same time, should we, it's not, not as much of a rush, but make arrangements to get the borings done on the, the drilling, the borings, whatever you call it, on the rest of the road, to get so, some idea what's going to be. That'll, that'll be happening when we're uh, starting the digging on the, uh, it can culverts. be done while the culverts are being done. And the truth that both data, what we discovered from the digging on the culverts and the data that they do can be combined together at the same time. That's on the lower half. I'm yep. going up on the upper half. Do the whole row. Do you wait? Yeah, we'll do the whole row. Okay. Testing would be test, the whole row. You test the whole row. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. I mean, okay. It's, we want to get right, it'll be helpful where they're doing the, right, but that would give us an idea it's at the time. We'll know what that looks like and then how that compares with the lower half will give us a lot of information for the second half. The, the treatment type you take, choose, makes a big difference on where the money has to come Well, yeah. I so, know, right, the sooner we can get to that, big, right. the better. We, the, one of the wild cards is the 175000 from the state grant. Right. They're, they're not saying boo at this point, so right. usually those will be awarded by now. Right. So they're, they're, they're just, we don't know until the legislature's done, is all I can get from the region, yeah. which is pretty soon. I think, they're, I think they're done. I think they're done, right? They're done. So hopefully the beach trans will get the word about what's happening. They there. are done. Yeah, they come back the end of August. Hmm. Uh, they, they've just done a sort of get through budget because there's so much that nobody knows. So they're coming back the end of August to do the budget for the rest of the year. Which is, I'm sure that's why I must put V Trans in an interesting. So, how much money do we have? Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. But that sort of leads into five, which is talking, you know, the multi year paving plan. And to have an idea of what the total cost is, it's just sort of impossible to do that right now. In many ways, the total cost of the center project because you just really don't know yeah that's, that's going to be over a million dollars start to finish way over a million how, how do you figure we can do that we have our own money the phasing is the typical answer i mean if you had if you had have all these roads. That's what the five year discussion is. It's not just center road that you want to yeah, phase out and push too, right? every other road, right? The roads that we'll be pushing back are Centerville Road, which is failing up into the S curves, head towards North High Park, and some of these other sort of shorter roads. But if you don't keep the class twos up, which get most of the traffic and have the most deterioration rates, yeah. then you'll be totally stuck on those roads. You know, you, they just, they just, it just makes it worse. That's my point. I don't think it's a wise choice to we'll push them out. Say we can do it and let the other roads go because when we get done, we'll have one good road and the other roads are going to be what we're trying to do now. Right. I guess the issue is right now is we don't know how much money we need. And so when we get, to, yeah. get yeah, the data so that we, we need, then we can. Uh, and we put it out the bid, we'll get an idea what the bids are going to be. And then that'll pull us together so we right. can see. Right. You know, and, and okay, we, say, if, say we want that road, I understand it. How long does it take from point A to point B to get get a van or, or, or get a, a Well, we'd, a, we'd, we'd have plenty of time to do that since we're breaking it into two right. major halves. If we're trying to do it all in one year, it would be different. Yeah. But we're going, to, we're going to be fine for the first part. And that gives us time to get plenty of information to say, okay, here's what it's going to cost. Here's here's how much money we're getting from the state. Here's how much FEMA money we're getting back. So we'll have we'll know exactly what we have, and then we'll be in shape. And again, besides not just looking at that project, but everything that we want to do to not have things fall behind. Yeah. Because one thing, looking at the finances of this country, is going to be cheap money for a long time, which is. That's that's to our you know our benefit a project's benefit, you know they are going to be charging a lot of interest on money so we ought to be able to and again have a good idea of our money rolling forward, what you know some years we get more than others to be able to come up with a with a financial plan that shows here's what we need. And going back to what you said the last week, have that projected uh, five year plan or yeah. ten year right. plan or whatever. Right. And and there's another thing that everybody ought to be thinking about. I know what I would do 
what you're going to do with Cleveland Hill going up through from the thing up through there. That's blacktop, and that thing is breaking up up through there so bad that it's almost impossible to to um, to re re blacktop that over that what's there. So so well, what, one thing we've talked about is reclaiming that. Yeah, and just and, turn and it then, back to there and just pave a uh, shorter skirt coming off from that, and then leave the rest of that reclaimed in there. And with the, the pieces that are reclaimed in there, we'll compact and we'll give it a good surface too, but it's something that we could be graded yeah. so that we can keep it in. Uh, you rode up that road lately, you see that black dot? It is pretty bad. I mean, and, and well, it, once you get that road done and stuff, I think uh, Lake Park is the only town I know that don't post the roads in the spring. And I think Legally, that. probably Susan can answer that question. I know when I was going through it, they made me post roads because the state gives you the signs. The only thing you have to do is put them up. The state pays for them. You go over to town garage, they give you the sign. The thing that they told me in that meeting that I went to, Waterbury, that if you don't post your roads, the state can refuse the grants on not posting the roads in the spring. Is that true or not? Never heard that. Well, I did at that meeting. They could, the state could come in if you didn't post your roads. You might want to check it out. I, I can see where it makes sense. Well, that's I was there that day, and I know what they said. I looked at it, it's just like me saying, I'm not going to invest in something if you keep ruining it. Yeah, we've never had to come up in a grant application or anything like that. So. It's easy to check out. Sorry, it's not in the application form, I think. Right, right. I no, but I was, I was there when they were talking about that. And then we started posting our roads every year after that. It's not a real big deal. It takes, you know, half a day to do it. You know, to yeah. run around. Yeah. And yeah, it's just never, it's never been done. So it's, there's definitely a way to do it. You know, yeah. there's a couple of things you got to do. Report to the state online system and all that. Yeah, so you go over to the state garage and they give you all the signs you want. Yeah, well, they give you a piece of paper, but yeah, you have to print them out. And probably, I'll see a lot of times we'll laminate them so they don't, at least, at least they last the. <laughs> yeah. Now they're standard. Yeah, standard. So. <laughs> but with, as the board saying, you only do it if you have to, is that what I heard? I don't, I wasn't clear. I oh. guess what you should do or what somebody should yeah. research at yeah. and make sure that. Yeah, find out if it's a requirement. Certainly we're going to do it. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, it will impact funding. And we should Did, address it. How much traffic is there on those roads that is, you think it's going to make a big difference? I don't know if it's the traffic, Susan. I think it's the weight. And the weight, right. I, I, I think it's that's the what you're looking at is the weight. Right. The, the biggest things are the trucks and other stuff coming in there. Again, when the how, what, is, what is what? Which ones would we be posting? Usually, trucks, usually truck traffic is there on those roads. Loggers, you know, stuff like this. Okay. Usually, they're very good. All the contractors, all the loggers are very good. They've always called and, you know, can I do this? Can I do that? And they usually yeah. know that, okay, it's going to be froze in the morning. I'll go get my load of logs out of there and I'll be out. It, it, it forms a line of communication with yeah. the, the road form, is what it basically does. Yeah. It, it lets them know what you're going to be, that you're going to be on it and you have permission, that type of thing. And that's when I was in Elmore, that's what it was. We'd get a call saying, I got to get my logs out and, and uh, so go in at midnight. If you can do it, and you got the light you right. know, on your truck, right. go in there when it's cold and the yes. road is right. frozen. Yeah, I've always been good. Yep. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll run, check it out, see what we need to do. Well, I guess we'll start next spring. It sounds like you, even if we don't have to, are interested yes. in posting the roads. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, just taking a quick break here. Uh, Michael Rooney chimed or logged in a little. Late, so I just want to let him know that the uh, uh, Lamoille Fiber Net CUD was resolution was approved before he logged in. That's right. And and we thank him for doing it. Yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely can use it. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess in terms in terms of having a five-year paving plan right now so we're sort of as far as we can go so we get an idea we've got more information and then 
get an idea what that costs. And then we, we have a schedule of the roads going out that we know. So as soon as this is done, needs to be paved. Yeah. Then, then we'll probably formulate, identify the road that needs to have some attention. Have we already got that? Yeah, we have yeah, some well, of that already. I was going to say, yeah. But the idea is that the select board in particular, the paved roads are the biggest expense for highway. Yeah. Every year. Yeah. So it's not small. It's two, three hundred thousand dollars worth of work. Mark French is calling. Yes, Mark? Oh. <laughs> you, do you want to participate? <laughs> What's Montgomery Hill? I don't. Cleveland? Oh, the hill. Oh, so you're just. All you're saying is that it's got to be paved to where it is today. Yeah, okay. I think that's the reason they paved or lost. Yeah, but they're having okay. trouble with trucks coming down. You got it. I just, we washed it. Huh? We washed it. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been up Bedell Hill? Yep, yeah, we got it. You yep, been down Bedell Hill? <laughs> yeah, he was just trying to make sure that you all knew that that was a critical hill for the constant slope. It's had that long history of washboarding and things. It yeah. wasn't paved to the top. Just because that, that was the reason they paved it to the top. Yeah. Yeah. And the traffic's probably gotten worse since then. I mean, yeah. marginal. <laughs> it's not a new throughway, but as you've improved Garfield Road, I think people find that as a nice bypass out of Wolfpit sometimes, you know? As you improve one road, it has these other impacts within the town. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here's the. I know this was in the, the packet, but this is the, this would be a real That's the attention. beginning of that, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's an awareness it was, memo. It was, <laughs> it's awareness it was, memo. It was in your packet. I actually printed this one out because it gave me such heartburn. I guess that's why I wanted to do it. Um, it's a high part paving needs, short terms outlook. It's in, if you, if you look at it, Ron sent it, but that's what you see your, just the paving short term is looking a few years. This is not uh, sort of what's on there. But then it's also the variety of sources of money that's coming in. And we aren't that far off. There's the other work to do, but it's all no. We can get there. That's the part that's in the package. Yeah. Yeah. I got it yeah. 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 <laughs> Forget trying to read that kind of thing. Uh, oh, I have oh. to do the very bottom. Of my oh, that's yeah, yeah. It. that's right. That's when I go. Okay, I'm going in to sit down at the uh, at the desktop now. If that doesn't work, I turn my phone so I can Yeah, yeah I mean, bigger. yeah. <laughs> Just it's all got to get a little bit bigger. Yeah, so you see, woo, start running into money pretty fast. But if you look down below and see the money that's coming in, well, we aren't we aren't you know. Ain't that bad? No, it's not that bad. There's 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 all the other work that has to be done on top of it, but just looking at the paving yeah, money, right. you know, we're pretty close. That's, you know, that's that's why we sort of went selecting you know. the treatment type. Yeah. Is yeah. having highway do what they can with their force account. Oh. But it's just that's on your uh, yeah. So and and again, that's all that stuff is a ballpark. You know, it, it'll make a difference, but it at least. It all it looks perfectly reasonable. Okay, it doesn't look like oh here's this here are these giant projects and everything else is going to fall apart if we do this and and how do you how do you balance it? Forty two thousand dollars a part. Yeah, yeah, and again that's that's just a to some extent back of hand, but it's not you know okay we'll see what happens. Um, okay, the Webster Road Public Trail subdivision. All right. Remember, we just. Brian, you want to take that? You want to take that? Uh, I went up and looked at it. Yeah. And uh, the road, exactly the, uh, the portion that we're concerned about, um, I went up here and drove down in. I wanted to see it was down in there further, so I went down in with my truck and uh, met a very nice lady down there at the end. And uh, I had a nice conversation with her. And then I came back out and she pinpointed where her property ended and, and uh, best. Um, her property begins and stuff. So I went up there and I looked at it. And I actually got out and took out my trusty tape and I measured the road and stuff like that. And it's uh, the actual driving surface was 14 feet. And the 
you know, it starts tapering off and stuff like that. So there's 16 feet of, uh, of road there. So that meets uh, the need uh, of that as far as coming in and out and, um, for where her property is in there. So, but then um, there's concerns, you know, about the traffic on the road and um, the neighbors down below, doesn't, they don't want any any traffic coming through there. It's supposed to be a trail. It's not supposed to be driven well, on. And, right. Those are the folks we went up last year and we saw that. Yeah. 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 We talked right. about the gate. Yeah. And the, right. Making it a trail, but yeah. um, keeping that option open for the town. And when I drove down in there, um, uh, the lady literally came running down the road. So her concern is legit, you know, and, she, and she's got a nice spot down in there and yeah. she wants to keep it nice. And I, and I don't blame her for that. And, uh, when I explained to her what I was doing, she was very, very nice, and uh, um, and like I said, she was helpful too to help me find exactly where uh, this whole project and stuff is uh, uh, going or talking about and that type of thing. And then uh, um, we've got some wording um, on Class Four roads. It's been highlighted in there, right? And. Uh, so the existing uh, public trail uh, must not be utilized for land development purposes uh, other than uh, primitive uh, camps and non-structural uses. So we need to decide if it's gonna if it's a trail, uh, how we're gonna proceed. And these are these are new new constructions. Yeah, it's a definition issue. So the Policy the select board adopted says public trails. You're not expected to put more vehicles on public trails. Mm -hmm. Walking, horseback, riding, whatever. Webster Road was a through road from Route 100 to Grimes Road way back when as a Class 3 road. Then it deteriorated to most of it being Class 4, which is Ralph Larson's whole deal with coming multiple years trying to get the road thrown up. Right. Uh, and now, it, last year, the select board voted to turn that same class four section to public trail, except that there was already two homes out there. Right. And Ralph had two more lots pre planned out there. So it was never really intended to be a public trail in the sense of pedestrian only. It was the public trail right away is what's. Yeah, it's keeping other vehicles. It's a mixed, it's a mixed public yeah. trail. So limited housing is really what the action of the board was because there was already houses and proposed houses out there. Right. The only difference is Beth Carrier wants to take one of those pre-existing lots and subdivide it and create this new impact, which is adding one more house to... The there would have been a potential two, now there's three. Yeah, right. And, and you know, that's, that's within your bailiwick of saying that's a minor change, they're not proposing 100 houses, out in the middle of nowhere, it's a minor increase over what was planned. Now, did, does the did, town have a public trail map? No, we don't have a public trail designated for that. It's simply the public trail right away under state definition. You guys well, determine the use of that. Right. We haven't. Well, and, and well, and, money, and no part of this. Money. Right. Well, and part of this hope was so that. They are no longer shipped through on all the GPS maps, so people getting stuck. Yeah, that's out it. So, yeah, yeah. correct. That's that was, that was correct. their yeah. yeah. That was a, a giant concern that they are having. Um, I personally, I don't, I don't have any problem with that. And do they now treat that as a? They take care of the road themselves. Right. The, the lady that I talked to, yeah. she she says that she, it's like our road. She, she she pays for the plowing all the way yeah. down and all the way back because she's yeah. a further one down in. Right. She had some concern about. You know, sharing, but that's not our issue. No, that's right. That's not our that's issue. Right. That's our issue. But it, 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 it just, we put that back to a trail, right? Yes, we did. Right. So, should it be a trail should or should it be a. a well, but we already knew it had two houses. subdivision down there right. that they were planning on building. But All she's doing that. is, yeah. So, and there, and they were fine. We knew someday there'd be at least two more houses down there. What she's doing is subdividing one of them so there someday potentially are three houses down there. And the power is already, when I was down in there, yeah, I didn't notice the power is there yeah. and the meters are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the issue is a trail and, and, and it's a private road. Well, because, because of what we put into our language, 
Okay, that it's along the trail. You're not supposed to do more development or anything. And she is technically doing more development beyond that field. Yeah. Remember that it opened up after you went across the brook. Yeah, yeah. it opened up. She yeah. wasn't yeah. Up. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're on yeah. the Webster Bryan side. No, it's on the. You're on the Bryan side. Yes, on the Bryan side. Yes, Jesus. That's when you go up that that's on swamp. Pastor. Well, after you remember, he dug that ditch and put yeah, that yeah, culvert yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think where you're talking about is up above that, right? Well, there's a tree line. Yeah, there's a tree, yeah, line. There's a tree line. But right. when you take that right and you start going out into that field, that that tree line you come to, it's on this side. Of it. But it's on it's on the. Uh, well, it is up higher. It is it is up higher than the, the swamp. The swamp well, right that's there. not our our jurisdiction to perch on. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's yeah. Not no, no, that, that's right. Those no, are, no, just the road, that stuff. Just the yeah. access. Yeah, it's really the first 420 feet. After you get past that uh, right. class three turnaround, so and it's it just really private. yeah, it goes private there. It's that first four twenty that's the public trail, which is already built to sixty feet. It's uh, like I said, it has no public investment to make it a public trail. It's just designated under the state highway system as a public. But that was trail. the best thing to do with it to protect them in the future. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. So I I don't. I don't have any problem with her doing that. Yeah. I mean, it's, Me neither. it's not like a surprise that she was suddenly, I mean, if they were suddenly talking about putting in 20 houses or something, yeah, I mean, hey, just a second here. I think mean, you can look at each proposal individually. Yeah. So she's proposing one house when you're already, one more than what you were already expecting. Now, now one thing that she did mention to me, and it's her option, is uh, if it becomes for sale, maybe she can buy it. But she's worried about developing the lady that down any right. further. Right. Um, she, she could purchase it. And so that was something that she said to me that uh, maybe she could buy it. So it preserves her. Uh, right. That's up to her. So Brian, yeah. Brian needs uh, sort of board clearance. I don't think you have to kind of vote it, but just the, you don't object to him no, continuing no, the process. I don't. You know, no, let, no, let no, I think that's fine. For the, okay, great. Yeah. The two houses. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Good. Unspent budget and assignments for 2021. All right. So every year in June, we come up to this time of the year where the budget, the town budget will close tomorrow afternoon. Any invoices that are dated July 1 or after obviously go to the next year. Any invoices that are drafted now and are received after July 1, if they're dated in June, will hit. We'll bring them back even if we pay them next year. So some departments had some unspent funds. And every department usually has ups or downs, and there's hardly anybody that can get to zero on every line item. So Mark looked at his budget and had one suggestion for $5,000 of line striping that was not spent this year. I think it was just a scheduling thing or whatever, just got, you know, just got one of those items that got unspent. Uh, Brad Carrier just sent a text asking for I think what he was asking for is whatever he had left in emergency management and whatever he had left in the task squad salaries. But I don't have those numbers, which makes it kind of hard to vote that. He's supposed to vote a dollar amount. I know he's conceptually he's asking this, so it's just lost. It'll be lost in the sense that it goes to the unassigned fund balance. If he, if anybody wanted some of that money back per se, or the board didn't want to make a decision now. Town meeting day is really the best time to ask the voters to use unassigned fund balance. That's what right. we've done in the right. past. Right. The select board really should be looking from just doing a little bit of research at this time of the year to contracts that you have that aren't completed that need to get pushed to July 1. So let's, let's say the $10,000 contract for line striping. The contractor was only able to spend 5000 of it. You might want to assign the other 5000 that you have in this year to next year so you can complete the contract. That's the cleanest assignment of those. Yeah. Anything else in between is a little bit, you know, sort of a management question. Why didn't you spend the money? Well, we didn't have as many fires, so she's there. We, so can we save the unspent salary money? Well, the taxpayers might say, great, if you save some money, let's Let's put it in the unassigned and maybe we'll, maybe we'll let you have some more money in March or maybe you won't ask. Or maybe we're still trying to build up our reserves. So that's one option that happens if you don't actually assign the money. It does get put away in the town savings. It's not lost. It's not inaccessible, right. but it would be accessible by a vote, you know, article at a town meeting day. 
So again, without, those are the only two I've heard. I asked Allison today if she knows of any other things that have been floating on the other departments, and she said no. So there's no, it's it's the five thousand dollar line striping, which you could. It does create some a little bit of financial, you know, management issues for Allison. She has to post things right and have it signed. You know, it has to be tracked through the audit, and that kind of stuff. So, so the roads that would be done, there are none that we're going to be paving or doing any work to. Uh, center road is the only that's a class two the state does that so yep. there's no okay no, uh, you know what the figures are for the uh, uh, unspent money from the town the fire department the library the offices do you have a figure on that i don't part of the part of the reason is that there's still activity going on so the departments were only able to like mark knew that he would at least you only make an assignment request if you think your whole budget's gonna be on or under budget. You wouldn't assign money that you already spent. So if you so whether the other departments are all over spent right now, we, we I don't know that until we close out the year, really. If the, the money's in process. So so can this article wait till table it and then till we get the other money. Money. No, no, the only way to assign is to assign before the end of the year so yeah. there, so ideally what would happen is if you thought that line striping was needed then you might want to do the top meeting thing if you yeah, but, but, but you have the audit benefit too a top yeah, what i don't know it, it is the rest of the stuff right no but you know this piece you can i mean you don't have to vote on it all but when you have a piece you can vote on you can vote on that and the other stuff is I mean, it, yeah, no, I see, no, part of the reason for the town meeting vote is that you have the audit showing you that right. you have the money left over. <laughs> so that's one of the benefits about the town meeting vote is that you close the year out. We keep the year open for 60 days. So it's hard to project exactly what you have on June 30th until you have the audit. So the assignments, like I said, generally are best done with that contractual commitment already done that you've already committed to somebody else. The assignments based on a projected year end are less comfortable because you, you're like if Brad said, I have a I say you have thousand dollars left in mass squad salary. Like for radio, oh, no, like, yeah, like, like for radio or something. No, for salary. Oh, for, for mass squad. So you may say, well, yeah, we have less calls, so I have that money. I want to save it for next year's salaries. But he has another budget starting July one for salaries. Okay. I suppose three so funded. Okay, yeah. if my question is wrong. It is take the lines, five thousand dollars line right. striking. Uh, Mark, say well, you didn't save it because you didn't spend it, but you got five thousand dollars in there. Unspent, yeah. Yeah. Can he use that five thousand dollars for uh, small equipment if he needed it, or? Uh, no, you you would approve any purchases that are in the budget. So you would be the one approving it. He would say, "Geez, I'm not going to spend line striping, but I have an emergency need over here for culverts." I'm not. I'm not going to spend line striping. I want to spend five thousand more for culvert. You would approve. And then we'd have to tell him he could do that. You have final say over the. Over the he can't move the money. Nobody can move the money around like that. So he can't move fuel money to line striping. No. Line striping. No, he would. He money. would. Do, no, we he do has that. To come to us. We do that through the purchase order process, yeah. like you did tonight. Right. You know, you didn't have all that money in culverts, but you we didn't spend some in erosion control. But you, 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 the board can move things like that because you, you have control over 1.2 million or whatever the highway budget is. The voters give you direction of what you're supposed to be spending money on. So a, a fire department, say, say you hit the fire department, just shooting numbers out there, he had a $25,000 budget and he broke it down so much for, for firefighters, so much for radio, so much. Right. He, he's got to stay in those parameters of each one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just can't. He just can't come in and be weird. Well, they can one to pay. I spent twenty five thousand. Correct. Yeah. Well, I well, think he, he he can, but, he but he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the voters give you direction by you when you present that in the budget. Yeah. Right. You're giving the voters direction of what you're asking for. Right. Okay. Saying, Here's and they I'm expect you to follow what you're asking. Now during the year, who knows what could happen. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, it's you know, like the Halloween thing. You might so you would have justification for not right. doing what they said, or why you overspent something, and explain that at town meeting day, typically. 
So yeah. that five thousand dollars could stay there for next year. Could stay there for next year. If you don't take if you if you don't take well, any action tonight and the money stays unspent tomorrow for that five thousand yeah. dollars, it, it's pushed unassigned into right. the savings account. So it's yeah. just in the savings account. And then you can pull it out at town meeting day with to, to do anything we want. That's well, fine. we've done that before. We do yes. oh, yeah, exactly. yeah. yes. that's, right. exactly. yeah, that's the cleanest exactly. that's the cleanest that's, that's right. what we we'll and do. The, that's right. The only do. thing that, that Mark had said is he knows he's got there's five thousand not he could could he Roll that forward to have ten thousand to spend next year and double strike things. Right. That's just what Mark was asking for. So we can go ahead and assign that five thousand that he's asked for that he has left over in striping that was for this year, the next year to give him the ten thousand dollars for striping, or we can just go well, you know, let's let's wait. Oh, uh, let's roll it over. <laughs> Yeah, you wait till town meeting if you still right. want to do it, and then you right. do a spring painting instead of a fall painting. Instead of a fall painting. Yeah. So it wouldn't be 10000 next year, would it? It's 5000 yeah. every it's year. It's 5000 5, every year. year. It's budgeted every year. Right. 5, he hasn't spent his 5000 Yeah, but that money is already approved by yes. the taxpayers. Yes. But and this year's coming, isn't it? Right. So I can't so, so he budgeted 10000 He's budgeted 5000 Every year. Yeah. And he didn't spend that. Correct. So next year he don't have to budget another five thousand because he got the five thousand he brought over. If that's what you guys will, yeah. board wants. Yeah. If that's yeah. what and you might, want to do, you might get behind but, if you don't. Right, but he hasn't side. done any striping this year because all the striping he was going to do in the village was all going to be torn up. So he won't get ten thousand dollars. He'll get five thousand dollars next year because five thousand would automatically be in there, saying. right? But he now knows that he's behind in his striping because he hasn't done the village. Okay, and he knows when the village gets done, when we get done that work in the village, you're going to want to strike the village. Right? There's, no, the state does. Will the state go to do the village? Yeah, they do all the class two. Okay, okay. Yeah. but if he didn't spend it, he's got it. So, it, so he don't need it again if he's already got it. No, he loses it tomorrow. He loses $5,000. Yeah. I understand that, but, yeah. but he doesn't have to budget another 5000 because he's got the five thousand. The, the next budget that comes up, what he's saying, already has striping in it. Right. So he'll be getting money for that. And what he's saying yeah, is, yeah. is that there's five thousand, and there'll be another five thousand. So it'll be ten thousand next year for striping. Right. And he's wondering, do we need to have ten thousand or five thousand? Well, typically, sufficient? yeah. So typically, what happens if you skip a year of your line striping, which is what we're talking about, basically. Mm -hmm. sure? You're going to lose that paint. The paint doesn't last forever. So some roads will last fine, other ones yeah. will be gone. So in order to catch up, you might need, let's say, eight thousand next year, just because other sections of road are so bad. Well, like we did a uh, Battle Road road. When that new pavement goes on, you almost need to do a double layer because that first paint just disappears into the crevices of the, pa the pavement, and then you don't have the reflectivity. So ideally, when you do fresh pavement, you'd have two. So we skipped that this year. We might not have any line striping on Battle Row, and other sections are going to take less. So it's really it's a balancing act of seventy five hundred dollars or five thousand every year. And if you skip a year, you're pushing that work together. So it's not just a dollar number. If he gets lucky, this is the this is, I think this is what you're saying. If he gets lucky and he's able to just use five thousand next year, which is already budgeted. He may be able to do every class three right. road perfectly well. I think the what he's feeling is that that's not going to get you a good product on every double yellow. He's going to need more money to get to a good condition because the, yeah. the year was skipped. So it's it's not a lot of money, you know. No, so, no, but it didn't. It didn't it, the figures just didn't add up. You yeah. got five. No, it's a workload. Get five thousand. No, like ten thousand. No, but when you skip, you lose your. Yeah. You yeah. lose your paint in the field. <laughs> yeah. So it's harder to catch up to that if you're not putting it on every like year. every year a studded tire is going over and chipping away at it so for the end of conversation you can't strike the whole town for five thousand dollars correct not well <laughs> <laughs> you could you could you could run the, i think you could probably run the road i think you're looking at around okay. six to seven thousand to do a really good job but you end up not hitting something twice when it should be twice so, so he's skipping so a whole road he, he might be able to get it done as best he can with 5,000 next year if you don't assign that. Or he'll say, 
I did my best in the fall of 2020. I need another five from the voters to finish it the right way. Or assign a portion of it to him, and right. then the other portion of it goes to something the voters to or no, or just sit or just, sit just into the fund, right? Or just in there. So that's an option, Dave, yeah. to kind of split the difference. It's just no, I guess I have to get my money by it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah there's, two part, there's two parts to it. I would say 2,500 gets moved over, and the other 25 is decided by the voters. That's well, or just go right goes into our fund that we figure out. We recommend to the voters yeah. what to do with it. Exactly. Right. Right. And then then everything's covered. Then 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 you have enough. To, yeah, that's right. You should be in good shape. And yep. then we're saving the town money. Sounds good to me. What I've hired for it, huh? Well, you, you, you don't. We don't know that we're saving the money. <laughs> <laughs> we're projecting. We're next. We're projecting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't see Brad calling in to help with the dollar amount that he was thinking. So I don't have, I can't help the board with what number he was thinking about assignments. Okay, but what will so that, was the, that was the extent of the assignments. Requests. Okay, so but with the assignments, then what we'll do is not the five thousand, but the twenty five to, to striping and twenty five into the. Well, just magic pool. Go, you don't, you know, if you don't need to <laughs> the magic the, pool. You don't need to deal the second twenty five hundred, just the first. first right. One, you know. So I'd be a motion to proceed. Okay. I move that we take twenty five hundred of the five thousand dollars that was budgeted for striping and move it to next year. Second. There we go. You got it, Dave. I didn't understand now. Okay. <laughs> I understood from the beginning. I'm not sure you did. Okay. <laughs> I'll go with that. <laughs> I frequently feel as though I don't understand. So I'm like, oh. no, I see where you're going. <laughs> all right, now we're going. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. All right. I think we should all, all say right. no now as well. All opposed say nay. Anybody abstaining? Maybe I should abstain, but <laughs> okay. Um, well, that was the only one we had. Uh, traffic ordinances. Um, it's a little bit big for this meeting, but I just want to put on the table and kind of view yeah. request. Yeah. Maybe you've seen them in front porch forums for general speed control throughout the town, and it's it's not unusual to have springtime uh, speeding complaints. A lot of times, yeah. it's school gets out, you know, this time of year. So. Kind of interesting timing considering school is already out, but maybe people are just feeling like it's, it's just spring warm time. in summer and yeah, that's right. Cars. It's just springtime. And it does put people on the roads when it's warmer. So does yeah. everybody know about what happened up on Cricket Hill? No. It was a uh, uh, that spot has been used tremendously up there that the school owns up there. The, but the uh, trails, yeah, the, trail, the, the, the trails, and the trails up there. Yeah. It's been traffic in there all the time, and I'm really glad to see it. But um. Of course, as I've explained numerous years ago, that the, the traffic that comes through there flies through. And apparently a gentleman had his uh, dog with him. It, uh, my understanding from what I read was not on a leash, but yet uh, a car hit his dog mm. and uh, just took off. And then I'm not really sure. The, the dog took the, off they, too. The, the yeah. dog took off yeah, and then the they couldn't find him because it was injured or whatever. I still don't know. If, I haven't followed it to see if the dog been found or not or anything like that. But it spurred a conversation on front porch forum, and then there was some homemade signs put up there, you know, about slowing down and uh, just prior to that spot where the car parked in there. And so, um, yeah, it's uh, that road is is a shortcut for some, and somebody some of them take full advantage of it. And uh, like I said, that corner. Right there by um, Gingrich Road, our mailboxes have been knocked right out because they they like to come up there and do the old Dukes of Hazard thing and swing yeah. right around swing that right corner, around the corner and yeah. it takes out the mailboxes and we're back there putting them together. Next time it's going to be concrete. But you know, on these other roads, I think the reason we're getting so much requests right now is because of the COVID. I've never seen so many people walking. By oh, my hand. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no, that's true. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because there's no. nothing to do. Yeah. 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 Lots more people on bikes and bikes doing all sorts of things. They need activities like for yeah. the children and right. stuff to do. Right. Because they're right. not well, school. Yeah. And, it's, and, and it's springtime, and the, you know, the weather finally really got nice. Um, yep. That's why with part of, and then because the homemade signs were put up in the right of way, and they needed to be taken down and hearing from it, and things were starting to talk on front porch for them, 
Brian and I talked and had him put it up and say, here's why we understand your concerns. Here's why the signs were taken down because when things were in the right of way, we need to do that. Um, we've talked to the sheriff, asked who to do it for a season. People want more and more. And I said, let's talk about it because everybody wants more patrol and that would be fine if they want to pay more money. Yeah. Like we have just to tell people on, and clear on the front porch, we have X amount of money with the sheriff's department and they can do X amount of time and they're covering other towns as well. And everybody in town wants more enforcement on their roads. So unless you're willing to spend a significant more amount of money for the, you know, with the sheriff's department to be able to have him put more people out mm -hmm. on the roads, I mean, you know, I, that's just, just the way it is. I got a strange telephone call and apparently the same person talked to Dave a while ago and Dave told her to come to the select board meeting and discuss it. And I think because of traveling quite a bit that way to North Hyde Park and just coming from Eden down through, the speed limit is 35 after the North Hyde Park fire station. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got thinking about that. I'm thinking, yeah, that is kind of stupid. Why don't they move the speed limit sign up above the fire station to slow the traffic down? Because the traffic, the speed limit really don't start until it gets in the dip of the hill by Marvin Locke's old um, but where's, park. The, where's the village line? Way yeah. back up, way back up towards La Rosa. Really? Yeah. It's up by La Rosa. Uh, yeah. Right no, because right. village line. You're talking town line. Yeah. I'm, village. I'm talking to the town line. Yeah, he's talking yeah, village. village. I don't know where the village, village line, line is, but it's, like it's all town. The the you can move on a state road if it's in the town. You can move a speed limit sign. And they're complaining coming out by Brent Lanfear's place there. And mm -hmm. it wouldn't be hard, I think, if we did some research that we could move that speed limit sign back towards okay. Eden so they would start slowing start down slowing before down. they got to the fire department. Okay. Because, you know, them guys are trying to get out of there and she's trying to get out of her road and they come down around that corner and and, and 50 miles an hour, you're, you're, you're mm -hmm. gaining yeah. fast. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if that's something we could look into for her to see if we could slow the traffic down back up the road. And I think there'd be more money into it for speed tracks because I've seen the cops there half a dozen times the last two weeks. Yeah, it's right right there where he sits at the fire station. Yeah. You the know, speed that's limit. where the exact change is right yeah. there. If it's up, yeah. like you said, up the road, it would give him, uh, him or her a better advantage. In yeah. And even give yeah. the guys in the fire department. I think you can shoot his radar up the road. I can't believe my buddy in the fire department never complained about that. But going back to Cricket Hill, and that's what I thought kind of the hot spot that was brought up by the community was uh, um, it is posted on both ends, 25 miles an hour. Um, I got to talk to Mark about uh, there's a vine growing up onto the uh, 25 down by the school here where we come off. Uh, that'll have to get removed so it won't cover the sign up. But uh, I'm wondering if we took those signs and moved them up a little bit so once you come on to the road, then you can see it. Right now, it's right on the corner. So as soon as you come up, it's right. It's right on the on the corner. When you see it, both ends are close. I don't know what the posting uh, specs are for. Uh, uh, is it just as soon as you come on the road, or can you put it down? You know, fifteen hundred feet down the road, that type of thing. Well, and then I also talked with Ron since they're tearing up Church Street. You know, when we've got the speed sign there, the you know, that yeah. tells you how fast you're going. Yeah. That well, that's pretty worthless this summer and fall since it's all going to be torn up. If we could take that and move that to a place on Cricket Hill, you know, closer down to the you know maybe near the superintendent's office, so when people are tearing someplace down through there, is that tells you how you know. Well, look, I didn't realize we, we posted that road at twenty five. It is. Yeah. Uh, I've seen down around that down corner, there. down there by Mr. B's old place. That's all 25. No, we're talking about Cricket Hill. The Cricket Hill is 25. Yeah. Not in the ordinance. Huh? No, not in the ordinance. What is it in no, the ordinance? No, it ain't. I'll tell you why. Because, I'll tell you why. Because I had to go down there one time with a step ladder and put a plastic bag over that 
that sorry you remember that wrong yeah, yeah. posted 25 that road is not 25 miles from based on the orders or based so, on what the sign no, says the, the state put 50s up and we got a bunch of complaints then you put the bag in there then you put the bag okay, in. I remember getting up there and put the bag in. Yeah. <laughs> but it was at 50, not 25. Yeah, we got a lot of complaints for 50, and we got a lot of complaints for 25. So the, okay. the, resolution, <laughs> the, the resolution the board came up with was to do a traffic study and settle it. You know, and, I, and the state did the caution signs and the S-curves. Yeah. And the, the, the arrows, Chevron arrows. The arrows, yeah. But the town didn't put the number in the ordinance yet. So it has to it has to be set at something. Twenty five, okay. ten years ago or nine years ago. No, it's two thousand eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, you're going around to your by your where you're going to your place twenty five miles an hour, you're cruising. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Like but, I said, I've, I've always I like, put a, a complaint in that uh, trying to cut from if you're coming off in battle roll and you're trying to cut across that road even at 25 coming up around it, you can't see the car coming. So both, basically, when I leave, I go out battle roll and I come back in off from uh, 100, down to the school and come back into there because it's safer for me to try to cut across. I have come up there and literally stop and try to cut across and have people come around there. And yeah. uh, it's and, I, and all my neighbors have said the same thing. They've had closed calls right there. And again, like I said, some of the people that come up through there, they like to come around that, that corner yeah, so sure. sharp that right. they like to come around it and just spread the old stone right out and uh, have knocked out our mailbox before. And without leaping to assumptions, I bet a lot of them are young males that are doing that. It would be an assumption. I don't Ooh. think there, are many young, <laughs> like yeah, there aren't many young women that drive <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, I don't mind like another, that. Another I thing. watch them and go, whoo, because I thing. see them coming and I go. Another thing I should say on that. Uh, boy. After my mailbox got hit a couple times, I'd move it somewhere else. <laughs> 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 but do we want to see about, let's see, so. Traffic study for Cricket Hill needs to be done. Okay, so we need to do an, another a new traffic study for Cricket Hill. Okay, first one. Okay, first one. We didn't ever do the first one. Okay, so we do a traffic study, um, and then we can see about moving that sign. Thinking where yeah, it's a, a safe place. The, you should be authorized to send a letter to the state traffic safety division for a study because they they don't do anything without it. They're on okay. traffic study. Okay. But you have to request a location. So you'd say budget drive. Move that thirty five on. One hundred south to budget drive above the fire station. Yeah. Oh, above the fire station. Yeah. 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 I don't know what the road. Probably five six hundred feet north of the fire station. Yeah. Five hundred feet north of the. Yeah. The fire that station. Was, that yeah, would that's the kind of thing that they would need in the letter. Well, what, where is it? Where is the town going? Right there, one way grows. Yes. Well, yes. Goes, well. It's too far. It's that's too, too far. far. I'm, yeah, I got to think. It's the north end of the guard building, which is yeah. probably another two yeah. thousand yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that's, that's, yeah, it's too far. You know, and I was surprised that the guys on the fire department never said nothing about it. I never, you know, never dawned on to me until I got a phone call from her. You know who it is. Okay. You get a letter from them. She said she said something to you. You told her to come. Okay. So five five hundred feet. We need the cricket hill study. We need to move the five, sign. Five six hundred feet. I, but it's going to be a study, so we're going to go based, well, based, based on the study. That's a letter and a wait. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm talking about what's the name of that road where Brent lives? Mudge Hill. Mudge. Mudge Hill. Okay. Five hundred right? feet above that. Okay. Yeah, that would make sense to me. Yeah. The where it is now and where it would be, it'd be just beyond the fire. Uh, up yeah. on the other side yeah. of the yeah. fire. Five hundred feet from Mudge Road. Yeah. Up the road. Yeah. North. Okay, you got what we're asking for, Ron? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but then we have other other things that there's the, let's see, Battle Row is posted at 35, but it's listed as 25 in the ordinance. So should we change the- uh, That's what we got, the, Ferry Streets listed is at 35, but isn't in the ordinance. Trombley Hill Road, is unposted, not in the ordinance. I was just collecting some comments over the last two years since you did the- Right, right, that's when we did so it. So did right. they ever find a doubt? 
I, I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I haven't read all. all okay. I tried to read them, but I, I, I didn't see it. Let's put it that way. I've probably seen someone might just read the first part of it, that type of thing. Hmm. Yeah, so if you wanted to start a traffic ordinance revision, yeah, I would just bring a draft of the strike version so you can look at the whole okay. thing at once with those, the map with, with it, those right. notes. Yeah, added. Okay. Unless you had other roads you wanted to add now that I can put into the draft. Okay. It does come with a sign bill that we've been finding out from 2018. Right. Little cost of yes. establishing speed limits. <clears throat> um, okay. Is that all we need to do with the traffic ordinances right now? I yeah. Think? That's yeah. It. Okay. But let me know in the next week or so if you have any other roads that want to be at least. Listed as okay. discussion items. I did follow up with Robert Stevens too. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I sent him an email myself. Yeah. Um, the annual employees' wages. Do we want to talk about this now or does that need to be after we talk about the union contract? It, it doesn't need to be any time. We, the, um, that's just what we put in the budget. Yeah, so that's what you put in the budget. It's the 3%. The, Union contract for highway is controlled by that contract, and that's not resolved. So that would just be a deferred item for those uh, three people. Okay. Uh, the rest are uh, the rest of the employees have completed their reviews. At least the draft are reviews. So the reviews are being reviewed. So right. it's not okay. they're, they're yeah. not not done. But yeah. Well, again, they're. Do tomorrow if anybody did finish me. So that was a new thing added this year. So that was a good exercise, I think, for everybody. So Allison needs to make some adjustments to keep on track of the payroll system. That's why it's on the agenda for tonight. So I have to do a retroactive okay. on the highway department when that issues when the union contract is settled. Okay. We need a motion on that. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. We need a motion on the three percent annual increase, which was budgeted. Now. What's the cost of living rate this year? Oh, I think it was like two. When, back when you put the three percent, it was down to two, two point four maybe. The last number I saw. It's changed. I don't know if it's going up or down. I can look real quick and see what it is today. But uh, we don't usually ask for that particular. So how do we proceed with that if the union has yeah. negotiated the the amount? I'm confused with that. We we can't approve something that's not. You would defer the you defer we defer the union part, but we can do everybody else. Yeah. And then we'll do a retroactive vote of sorts to whatever date the new rates start. So in the, in the contract will say this is effective back to July yeah. first, more than likely. So it'll be some retroactive. If, if it's that, if that if that amount. Yeah, it's, it's set at two percent. But it, it, I mean they're like, actually, you won't take any action on highway. Totally deferred. Deferred. Whatever they get paid now, they get paid first week of July. Then you'll make retroactive adjustments based on whatever the outcome of you I'd like to wait on this and then we can discuss it. And well, how about everybody else? Exit. What's that? Why do we make everybody else wait for the union? What I'm trying to say is that uh, we go into executive session, discuss it, and then come out and make it. Uh, make make a motion at that time for everybody's pay. You're proposing not just the union. What's that? See, we're talking about Kim's pay and yeah, and, we're talking about everybody's and library's pay. pay and stuff. Okay, so and what they're proposing is that we raise it three percent. That's what it is. Three percent for budget. town employees in, in the budget for three percent. Yeah, for town employees, but, right? But the town highway, except the town highway. Is, Deferred right now, and, and if and if the town highway doesn't get three percent, 
they're, they're on their own schedule. Has well, no right now they're they, has no bearing right. on the rest of them. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. It's just not to yeah. tie everybody to them. Yeah, that's that's what I was, they I take was wondering. If it right. would right. somehow tie everybody to yeah, union right. and non union are totally different. Right. Okay. Can be treated totally different. They are treated totally different. It's the union contract is different things for them than for the yep. 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 Right. So a the motion did I I guess the technical that, the motions for that. Does that include the fire department and fast forward or I mean, it hasn't passed. I'm just. Uh, you've asked for. Ask about a set as a set rate of whatever. It has been eleven dollars for. I think it's eleven dollars for a couple of years. And there's no proposal to change that. You guys have. You have something on the table that we treat separately after they do the Say that again. I got the first part. You you have a proposal on the table <laughs> right. from October. They dealt with part of it last week. 15 and they voted down the uh, second part on the 15th, which will be dealt with separate from what they're talking about now. They're talking about everybody else except for fire. And that squad does not propose to change. That's going to be flatlined. The uh, other flatline as uh, blisters, they, right. they get 14. The other flatline, I'm using that term, <laughs> is the, the highway <laughs> operators that you voted last. I'm at right. 16 and 17. 16 and 17, right. So there's a, there, if you We're say. We're flatlined. <laughs> the 3% number is already set in the budget and program for those people. That's the one we'll pull out for the memo. I guess the budget, is, the, the motion is everybody gets the 3% set the highway to less result. Yeah. Yeah. Except for highway and fire, which is a separate motion. Fire here. and okay. highway and fire. Okay. You have, he's pondering. No, that's a, that's a voting on the budget, yeah. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah, yeah, right. We're, that's that's, right. that's a better way to say it because the, the money of that 3% is already in the budget for those positions. Right. The way I described it was some set, yeah. some are subject to 3%. You're talking about deferring highway and, or, sorry, highway and fire tonight on this motion. Then you have the second motion to deal with both of them. Right. right. And you're not including highways because it's still pending negotiation. Correct. You will eventually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, right. It's on a different, totally different schedule. Right. So, yeah. Okay. So, so we'll... Okay. We have a second? Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's very, very clear. All right, we got it. Um, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Now, fire. I thought we I thought we took care of fire. <laughs> yeah, we did, but then but after they found out that North Park was yeah, they, the chief, they, they, the chief assistant yeah. chief was the same money and, and uh, they don't have cadets and we do or we got yeah. cadets and they don't or something. And we give them the same pay that North High Park does. Yeah. But North High Park and High Park don't have the same officers, same stuff going on. I guess Eddie can explain that. Or Ron. Okay. <laughs> what would you like me to explain? Sure well, let me see. So I, we agreed to pay you what North High Park was being paid, and North High Park pays the chief and the assistant chiefs the same amount, right? Right. 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 And that's okay with you? Yeah. But, but your system chief don't get what you get, right? They they will under what you voted for last last month. Yeah, well, because they agreed that to do this is the same. So if that's okay, that's what we're doing. Then the then the other is you have cadets and they don't. Correct. Right. We, well, under the new uh, job descriptions that you accepted here a few months ago, we have a what we call a senior firefighter and then we have a firefighter and a senior firefighter is basically one that's been there for so many years and has so much training and they are also able to do uh, command take over command if, if for some reason there is an officer there that found enough officers or whatever uh, 
Uh, a firefighter is, is a new person that's just come in off the street. And uh, the way North Park Park pays is, it doesn't matter if you've been there a firefighter for 20 years or if you've been there for 20 days, you're getting the same amount of pay. Oh, okay. Okay, so what would you like to? Well, what we had, uh, the way I did it from what Brent told us the other night, um, the two chiefs get 14, captain gets 1350, uh, lieutenant gets, uh, lieutenant gets 1250. Uh, we proposed that the senior firefighters get 12. Uh, new firefighters get 1150 and any cadets that come on get 11. And currently we have no cadets on the, on the program. And cadets are, are people 16 to 18 who are limited on what they can do. All right, legal. Yeah, okay. Okay, so does that work? Well, that's what we discussed anyway, right? Mm -hmm. We voted yeah, on it. Exactly. Worked for me. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we voted on that last time. <laughs> that's what I thought we did too, but I'm going, so did we or didn't we? Okay. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I thought, but then Ron and I have been back, back and forth, okay. Back, okay. And, back and forth, and uh, I just, uh, the reason being is I've got to make changes in the computer to, to upgrade my payroll. Right. Now okay. that I have time to make her changes and yeah. stuff. Did you send me that in writing already? I think you might have. An email or something? Uh, yeah, I think they. I just want to make sure I get it in writing if it's. So you can have that. I remember all that. Been shortly after their last meeting, which was yeah. like the 15th or something. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. Here's the pay scale as I understand it from Monday's meeting, which matches North Hyde Parks. The only addition is that we have a probationary cadet level, which they do not. Okay. So the chiefs, the chiefs, both departments would make 14. Right now, you, Brad is assistant chief at 50 cents less. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So I just want to, just because we want to make sure we get this right. If you're matching North High Park Eden, you and Brad get paid the same. Is that what ends up with the board? So, is it, is it, should I say this? <laughs> no, is, is that can okay? We, can we just do a little bit different for Eddie and raise him up a little bit? Well, that's, that's what he originally proposed back in October. So, what the board said on the 15th of June was match North High Park, so we don't have to talk about differences of positions. Well, I'm just saying, yeah. we started there, Roland. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. And then you, you, you mentioned that it was going to be, well, then North High Park would want to match up with the Hyde Park, and it would be. Right, so the board's well, decision can, was, can we just put, make them the same, and then we don't have to talk about this anymore? Right. I think right. that's where. If we make them the same, but then we didn't want to go, we could. We could, as a town, okay, and a different way to, to looking at it, the town could do stipends to the fire department, okay? We, as a town, could say, you know, a chief has to do a lot more, a lot more time, so here's a, I mean, again, it's like, we'll be, we get 750 bucks a year for all the hours we put in. It's really, it's, it's a token, you know, but it's a little bit more of a token if you want to do that, and 
And to me, to some extent, with stipends, if they're coming from the town, then it's clear it's the town saying thank you as well, as opposed to just, you know, the fire department saying thank you to the fire department sort of a thing. And, and then and if, and if sometime North Hyde Park decides they want to end this thing, you could do the same sort of thing. Instead of if, if we raise Ed, then we're out of, again, what we were trying to do was have them. I thought everybody would, trying to get everybody being paid the same. They've got some different classifications, so that's-, that's So let's, let's stay on track and we'll look at it another year. Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna bring in something new business, but this might be a good time to do it. Is last week or two weeks ago, you know, I took a cruiser up there at Williams and we were uh, sitting on the picnic table for a couple of hours just shooting the shit and uh, talking about different things. And the fire department come up and uh, I said to uh, uh, you know, Eric, that the fire department used to be a fire department. Now, fire department is everything to everybody. They they, they car accidents and lift assists and stuff. And Eric's the one who brought it up. Right? He says, uh, "Does insurance pay for cleanup?" Oh, I said, "That is a hell of a good point." I said, "Let me follow up on that." So I stopped down to SR Miller and I talked to the lady that was in charge down there, and I asked him. I says, "Do." Insurance policy pay for a cleanup. A cleanup being after an accident. After an accident. For a fire department. The right. taxpayers of Hyde Park pay for the fire department. Right. Somebody who lives down here from Orange and somebody from from Barton and they collide. Yeah. We pay to clean it up. Okay. And she says, Let me find out for you. She called me back and she said yes. She says where, where it's fuzzy, they said they don't want to play, pay twice because they pay the tow truck operators for a cleanup. Well, tow truck officers aren't necessarily doing 100% of the cleanup of the ad. And I said to them, I said, no, I said, I'm, I'm talking about they have an accident and they, they, they rupture an oil pan or gas tank yeah, or something. Yeah, I said, we got to plug it down, we got to clean yeah. the roads right. and stuff. And she says, yeah, she says, submit the the policy. I submit the bill. She says they will review it to make sure they're not paying twice for tow truck driver cleanup or fire truck cleanup. And she says that very well could be paid for. So I'm saying, hmm. why don't you take that money? And this is just a suggestion. Twenty five percent of it goes to the fire department budget to help them out, and twenty five percent of it. Goes to the stipend fund. That's a good idea. I mean, I almost think when I was in the fire department that something like that years ago come up. Do you remember? Yeah, we we tried billing years ago and never got anything from it. The only the only time that we can bill and get anything is if it involves a hazardous spirit. For instance, uh, years ago. One of the contractors for then Sweet Burp rolled over down here by the VFW, mm -hmm. and their insurance picked up all the costs of the two departments being down there and doing the cleanup work. And stuff. So, so you're saying antifreeze is not considered hazardous material now? Uh, we're talking, we're talking more of a commercial. I'm talking more of an automobile where you can yeah, just a regular sort of where you can bill them for two, three hundred dollars. Sweep up the glass. Um, I mean, I, I'm just going by what. What happened years ago? Yeah. We tried it and sent bills out, never got anything back. Yeah. Well, and it, it, it's you know it's interesting, and it might be more effective to have the town bill. Mm -hmm. I mean, because we're paying for the fire department, right. so instead of That's having right. it, it may be upstairs, there, there. yeah, yeah, you know, to to have mm -hmm. um, when you have something like that, figure yeah, out the places. hours and give us the invoices and stuff, and yeah. uh, have the town submit a bill to the insurance company for the cleanup costs. Yeah. So she said to me, she said, that was your hell. She said they would pay for cleanup. Yeah, sure, right. And like I'm yeah. saying, it's a good point. It's, it's a good, well, it's a good thought. This, yeah. is the, this is the under nothing venture, nothing right. gained. You want to get any if two people from non high parkians come in and have a misfortune here. Well, it, it doesn't matter who does it. Right. We pay it. It doesn't matter whether it's Hyde no. Park or from okay. where they are. It, 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 yeah. It's worth the try. It looks like money to me. 
Well, yeah. Well, let's let's try a couple of them and see what happens. And we'll have we'll have the town we'll, well and we'll have the town submit right. the bill so that so that Ed, all you guys are having to submit to you know to, to the office is the do. yeah it's what you usually do and we'll we'll have uh, no, 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 we'll have, that's exactly that's we're going that's that's have yeah. have Allie start submitting it and see what happens. We get nothing. You ain't no further behind, right? No, no. That's that's right. That's right. Well, we'll a little bit of time, but we'll see what happens. That's a good idea. Okay. So now, so we, so we got the fire department wages set, right? Yep. We're okay. God. Okay. Um. Anything else, Ed? We're good. Nope, I just want to get it clear. But I got one thing to say as long as Eddie's right here. On that money that you got donated for that paint sprayer or what you call a Cobra 19 cleanup deal, mm -hmm. the select board never said no on that the other night because we were talking about it and then you come across and said um, that that was all taken care of when we started talking about it and you said there was a donation to come in but the board never said no on that it was flagged because of the I never said that you did say no well there is people out there saying that because it come to me it's been on front, not front porch Facebook, forum. Facebook. Facebook. Social media. So I think people ought to get things straight before, before they, they put them on so Facebook. We're not saying that. No, we're, no. we're <laughs> yeah, not saying no. it came to view. We're just trying yeah. to get things, no. uh, the air cleared on it because it is out there and we're not, we're absolutely not I, saying I, it came to view. I know it, I know it didn't come from you and I know it where it did come from. But I think people ought to get their story straight because the board never said no to you guys. Well, I, I I know the board didn't say no. Okay. I, I know you had a question on it. Right. Uh, and all I know is I got a call from Alan who said he was going to give us the amount he did for the for the sprayer. And the next thing I know, there was an article in the paper saying, you know, that he had made the donation, which I thought was nice. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. there was some stuff on Facebook that, again, I can't control. Well, I, I, I put on Facebook. It's I know it. I, I understand it. They said it. That if you, you watch know. Facebook, there's a lot of stuff. No, I don't. <laughs> nowhere near true. I don't. People come to me and ask me, <laughs> and, and I, I don't have. Canceled Facebook a lot of years. Yeah, ago. I, I don't. I don't can't tell you what I think of Facebook and the people that put stuff on it that don't get the facts at. Yeah. Okay, well as long as Ed knows and we got here public no, people I, I know, just, but you're right, right. Hey, listen, when you got when you got people like Starbucks and that's <laughs> going to stay, and they are going to stop supporting Facebook, you know Facebook's got a lot of serious problems. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's just, it just turned into too it's much just of a little bad, gossipy bad stuff. You know, yeah. stuff because people don't get the whole story no. right. No, no, no. Doesn't matter whether you're in Hyde Park, Vermont, or Washington, D.C. Absolutely. It's all the same. There, there, are, there are all sorts of people <laughs> out there. People happy to gallop out there. Now we know what we know. That's right. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank, thank you, sir. You. Appreciate it. Okay, the um, finance committee mission statement, which was there when I read it, and we got Gary and Norma willing to stay put and continue to help sort of advising, which would be really helpful as we get further down the road with all our questions about, you know, paving and trying to come up yeah. with a plan. Um, this would be the group that could help us come up with some look and say, okay, here's what makes sense. Here are some options. And this is just something we sort of had them informally around for, for a while. And they were very helpful with Kim when we were looking for some advice from structure. That was probably a couple of years ago. And they're willing to do it. And there was, it, it was in the packet. I didn't bother to, there if I have the tablet, I'd be reading it. 
Oh, okay. that's okay. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't print it out though. Who, who's doing it? So, um, uh, Gary Anderson and Norm Andrews worked with, uh, and one of it was Kim and somebody else. Anyway, um, well, we a mission statement just basically outlines the goals that Susan was talking about, but the main reason to it prove it is to get it out in the front porch forum and try to get a couple more yeah. people to join. And then Allison and I and Kim would meet with this group to look at all these issues that you started talking about earlier, like Susan said, but also to sort of watch things too, because some of the legislation coming out, you know, could affect how we borrow or whatever. That well, yeah. You or, sort of have to have a kind of an eye on that stuff a little bit, especially this time of year when the legislature's there. So yeah, that, that's right. Or you, or you never know when somebody that keeps an eye on it, hey, here's a great opportunity to refinance or do this, or you might want to think about this, or there's some money over here you haven't even thought about applying for it, it's coming out. Just to have some folks that are really into money and think about that sort of stuff and have fun doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know it. People actually have fun doing that. Uh, some people have fun reading budgets, you know, like, ooh, okay. <laughs> we're lucky we got those brothers in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and they're happy to do it. So yeah. I thought if we just sort of officially, you know, adopt the, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, uh, a mission statement for them, and then we'll let them know. And here we have it, and see if there's some other folks in town. Yep. There are actually a couple of other folks on some that I've been doing a little talking to to see if they're interested in. Um, well, and one of the things that'll be interesting, you know, is we start looking at this fiber network. Um, having some folks that are really into money and understanding it, because that potentially is going to be right. that's going to be a lot of opportunity, but a lot of money, and to get into some pretty complex stuff pretty fast. So having some folks in Hyde Park that are that have indicated an interest in that kind of stuff, and we can talk to them about keeping an eye on that sort of stuff, I think will just be be good to have them sort of tapped up there and looking at things once in a while. Yeah. Um, so I guess we need a motion to accept the mission statement. So moved. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Totally, totally second. So is, have, do we have an update on Roger? You do? No, do we? No, I called him this afternoon. Yeah, I did. No answer. Okay. I called. He might be coming home today. Today, okay, yeah. Good. But I did get a phone call. He'd come through it good. Yeah, you know, yeah. And everything yeah. like that. So he was doing good, but as Dave said. That, no, I did talk to his sister. His sister's my aunt, Noel. Okay. And uh, you're all really it's good. hyper. No, tell it said, is. said he was going well. Then. Yeah. yeah. I thought once he got home, uh, once and he knows he's there, I'll go, actually, I'll go to Pex and pick up some flowers and take up some nice flowers because. I get twice as many flowers if I pick them up myself and drive them yeah. up there as paying yeah. back to deliver them, you know. But just sort of let them home and get settled because, as I say, it's like he's got to stay in nice 16 weeks. Yeah. Whew. I'm going to test anybody. But then, so I assume by the next time we meet, he'll be feeling a little perkier and we'll get him on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. then he's feeling better, he'll start. Let's hope so. We can, we can help help his blood pressure by getting. Well, it wasn't tablet. so bad as they thought it was going to be once I got in there. Either. Oh, that's good. It was. That's better good. Than no one expelled it as much. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Good. It's pretty amazing, though, how routine that surgery is. Oh, it is. It, it, you know, one. Yeah. It's Handful of them a day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's <laughs> let's see. We'll see. We were talking about North Hyde Park. That's what got me there. The letter of intent to enter a lease agreement with the old hotel parcel. With the old what? The old hotel parking lease. Right next to the right uh, next to the Grange. So it's face Grange off the left hand side. They want, they want to leave the parking lot for the Grange off. The way that way that uh, laid out for the lease does it for what does the red? Or is it what's in the green? green. 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 What's, the, what's the benefit of that little strip in there? I'm just curious. But how much do they want for the lease? Strip to the root 100. Like a no. dollar or something? Yeah. In, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Yes. yes. Strip to the, yeah, that's, that's just okay. It's just an accident. Okay. Yeah. okay, so that's where the fuel pumps were. 
would be one over that area. Okay, yeah. Okay. I was looking at the back. How much there. do they want for the lease? Uh, that's up for discussion. The last time we had any conversation with the landowner was over a year ago, and that was through Al Spitzer, who's, yeah. who was more or less looking for plowing of the lot because it would be their lot if the grain wasn't you know, yeah. using it. And that would be expensive. That's an ad that we don't have right now. So that, depending on the grain, I don't know what the grain's operation is going to be. It might be closed when it's snowing. So what, do we plow the person's driveway even if the grange doesn't need the space? They were talking about putting heat in, right? Yeah. Uh, they, they've upgraded the, win the windows. Well, they're no. on a lot of things over there. Yeah. But one of them was what to do about the nine month season. Yeah. Right. Would not the 12 months. I guess, so, I guess the thing would be to discuss how much it was going to be. Yeah, I, I, you can't, I ain't alone nothing. I don't know the prices. Me neither. No, that's, I mean, that's what the idea is, that the LOI or letter of intent needs to have some interaction with the landowner and get that resolved. So if there's a board member that's willing to go meet with Bobby Joe and whoever else she wants to bring, that would kind of just be the only thing on the agenda for tonight. If the board doesn't want to do the LOI or do anything, sort of the interim agreement, then we would, then I need an answer of whether you want to proceed with the final phases of the brownfield work. Because we're paying for that. So, so for this here, the lease is it does it has any contingency on the, what's being done at the uh, grain job? Uh, part of the use of the grange is facilitated by having nearby parking because there is no grain. So How many need, tires are we talking? That's on a hold. Uh, not that many. It's probably probably eight to ten, depending on how you park. That's, that's on the. Not a very big space. To the left of the grain that you're facing. To the right of the grain. To, I mean to the right, yes. I was, I was going to say. Again, I got it backwards on here. Up, the uphill side of the range, range. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So You might be able to get more in if you use the entrance and have like a you know, couple cars okay. parked on the beginning of the driveway. Bullard's Mill. Yeah. yeah. You go down between Bullard's Mill and which we call it's old garage. But the old garage is where you'd be going in where the gas pumps were? Well, that's, that's gone now. No, no, it's right next to the grange. Right next right to the next to the here's and okay. then there's the, the old there. hotel right there, oh, right yeah. there, and then right next to that. Okay. The old hotel see right see the old hotel right yeah. there? That, it's yellow, I think it is. Yeah, the old hotel yeah. is. You got a big porch on the old yeah. yeah, this is their backyard, basically. Yeah. 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 I guess I'm going to be more interested in the facts and figures. Yeah, me too. Well, that's, that's what the question is, because we haven't gotten that far yet, but it's a time to do it, because the more time and effort we put into the brownfield work, eventually that work's going to be done, and we won't have this answer, these details that Dave just mentioned. So the suggestion for the LOI is to do the details now before we put any more money into brownfield. Right. So the letter of intent is just to take the next step forward. It's not committing okay. us. Not it's committed. just that we're... Oh, not committing. Yeah. Yeah. This is a yeah. Interest. Yeah, it's a letter of interest. Yeah, it's really the yeah, board's, yeah. board's responsibility at this point. The committee did the initial, hey, we're thinking about this. Da, da, da. Oh, right. we got a brownfield issue. We'll do that if you're willing to at least that backyard. And now we're at right. the point where we're almost finishing it. And we don't have anything current from the landlord. Right. So we got to yeah, find They may have changed their mind, but we can stop mm -hmm. doing well, it. Well, look into it. No, exactly. Into it. exactly. But is there one this board member that wants to meet with Bobby Jones to talk about some of these new I don't know her. You yeah. don't know. I guess I can. Get Maggie that. Stewart has to sign off too because she's the mortgage holder. Yeah. Anybody know Maggie? Do you have a contact for her? I can get, get you okay. on that. Yeah. You can send it to me. Yeah, probably a joint meeting with Maggie and Bobby Joe. Okay. Probably be best because they both have to sign the LOI. Okay. Or they don't have to, but they're being asked to. Yeah. Okay. Where did Bobby Joe live? Did she live there? She or she lived there? Yeah, Maggie lives up in North Bank Park. Area. Yeah, I know where Maggie was. Yeah. Hey, Bobby Joe bought that from Maggie? Yeah. Owner finance type yeah. thing. Yeah. Or a seller finance. Yeah, send the information to me and I'll okay. come up with something okay. next board meeting. Okay, thanks. God that when when you're looking at it, that yeah, the house that's right right next to it on the left. Yeah, that's the red house. Yeah. That's the one that's wrong. Give me some information. Contact your yeah. phone or something. Yeah, that's that's a hat that. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, okay.
Okay, so I, I guess we need a motion for us to go ahead and proceed. Have Let's have, have Roland, Roland, Roland agree to go Roland. meet with the landowner. Right. It does have to be a motion. Okay, all right. We'll see what happens next. Yeah. Dave, interesting CPI information. It's all over the place. So I'm looking back at 2018 to uh, the end of, yeah, almost all of 2018, it was plus or minus 2.5 cost of living. Yeah. Or consumer price index, actually. Uh, and it dropped uh, late 2019. Then it went back up to 2.5 in January of 2020. And that's about the time we were doing a budget. Yeah. And then since the COVID outbreak, it's dropped to almost zero in the last month. So most of that was uh, fuel, fuel prices and other things. Food's gone up, fuel came down, but overall fuel had a bit bigger drop in the well, last month. No, nobody's spending any money because there's nothing to spend it on. So right. anyway, I expect. The, the typical CPI goes like this all year, yeah. and I don't know what it'll be for the whole FY21, but right now it's pretty this low. Isn't a, a last month, consumer spending went up. So, so people are definitely... Yeah, that should force prices eventually. Right now it's... Yeah. Still spending oh, still yeah. Long, but... yeah, May was 0. 0.1. Yeah. Okay. The only thing I had down here, the social media policy discussion and, and review, is just for us to start thinking about it because we don't have a policy and have watched Morristown and some other neighbors get into interesting situations because of town employees who get blathering away on, you know, on social media about something that they don't have any business blathering away about. Um, and so to have some kind of a, of a policy in place just makes sense. And the, and the league has put out, Ron, Ron sent me some stuff, he can, he can send it to people. Put out, so just sort of some guidelines, just so you got a basic policy. So if we, it almost seems, it seems inevitable that we're gonna end up in that situation. Every community is somewhere along the line ending up in that kind of a situation. Um, so what, won't be me, I don't know no Facebook is no better. What, what happens then? Well, that you have a policy, that's your choice. You know, if, if you get, um, if, if uh, we, were, we were talking about the shelter in town and a town employee started bad mouthing people that were poor. Good idea. You know, then you say, okay, here's what's going, here's, here's what's going to happen. First of all, it's not accepted and you're not to do it. And if you do it, if all you know, here's a warning and after that you can be in like your the consequences. Like the phone call you made me one day. Yeah, yeah. You know, just like, yo, yeah. <laughs> I can get you off Facebook. <laughs> no, that's a good when, idea. Yeah. When you're disciplining people, it's, it, it's a warning, a write-up, and a dismissal. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the pretty normal procedures yeah. for going. Yeah. And and again, Ron sent me, and you can send it again. Yeah. So as usual, the league has, and what other a couple of smaller communities have done there's just to have the policy. There's a lot of people doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, just Good idea. Over, yeah, you know, just makes sense. Let's let's get one in place before we end up with a situation going. Duh! I wish there was something I can do, and we can't really because we don't have a policy. I'll go along with that. You need a motion. Well, no, or well, let's just no, well, he'll just he'll you. just send you a couple of copies, and then we can like at the next meeting say, okay, this was worse. So let's just use this. A couple of them I looked at, I'd be pretty comfortable just going, yeah, this, this definitely works. Okay. You know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, anything complicated, but we've got something, we've got something in the policy that says Perfect. here's what we need to do. One of, one of the things that we've sort of realized, um, you know, yet we end up with the town policy book in its pages and who the heck ever reads it includes, you know, our employees and what are sort of five key policies that everybody should know that we have and like if you spend more than x amount of money it's got to come to the select board before you can go ahead and you know and do it and just a few things like that that are real clear that if everybody is aware of will avoid some of the mistakes and the hassles that we've gotten into just because 
we can have all the policies we want, but if we don't know they exist, and even if we aren't paying any attention to them, it doesn't do any good. So. But you know, I'm just going to bring up something, so when they just don't put a rent yeah. on fire, and you're going no. on fire, because what I was told when I got on the sweat board, from 6 o'clock, and you drop that gavel until we say, you know, we're done, and you drop that gavel for county employees. You walk out that door for taxpayers. So if I wanted to say, and I don't, I'm on and on. No, 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 I wanted to say that I didn't agree with something negatively where it could be taken the wrong way. Yeah. Once I'm on my time, on my computer, not the town tablet or the town computer mm -hmm. or the town website. If I'm on my personal, the Constitution of the United States tell me I can run into a lot. But then it can be argued because of the influence. Yeah, I think the social media policy would get into that a little bit. If you can, if you can have uh, violations of code of conduct, which is what you're talking about as being how the town could get involved with your mm -hmm. private right. business. So we have to be really care, careful about that. So if you're out there saying things that are true, generally as a private person, those are protected. Yeah. If you're saying stuff that's false, is not always protected. Yeah. And so there are some, there are right. some, right. There are right. some right. finer lines to that. Yeah. 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 There's, there's well, that, 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 well, and and again, when as an elected official, and and it's into when it's your opinion, okay, and what you feel. Um, well, and and that's where and, and I, I mean, lots of lots of boards have codes of conduct. Yeah. You know, so that you know, and that then doesn't hurt to have a have something drafted up like that for a select board. You mm -hmm. know, which I which I would see. I think yeah, I wouldn't feel bad asking the fire department and people like that to, you know, to say that you come under this as well. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm just which, which is just basically it. is you know, it isn't anything it you know be. terribly legal and binding, but it's basically you're going to be a decent human being and you're going to think before right. you speak. And is, are we definitely going to get the tablets? Is that gone through? Or? Yeah, well, the trial one has started. So okay. yeah. Alice is working with IT person now to try to get ready for Roger when he's ready. Okay, so yeah, I would incorporate it with this with your tablet, that your tablet is, again, just talking. Just, yeah, just town business. Am I going to be able to take that tablet and go on uh, uh, Gabellus? See what's on sale there. Yeah, so right. So the program, we're calling it the iPad program, which will have rules and regulations and guidance right. and all that stuff, they'll address that. So basically, if you have access to the internet, you're paying for the access to the internet. The town's not going to pay that. The device is meant for town business. But from a practical perspective, you may have a perfectly logical reason to start looking at other websites for your own research on town stuff. You know, other towns, other vendors, <laughs> yeah. culvert suppliers, you may be all over the place. Right. So for the town to actually enforce something, all we can do is say, this is intended for town business. We don't have any way to enforce that. We're not gonna monitor your usage. We will monitor what goes on the computer for apps. And we do monitor for viruses. So our outside consultant, which is Tech Group, monitors all town devices, whether it's the iPad at, at the house or whether it's this laptop in Venice, Florida or wherever it ends up being. So, you know, all those things, we pay for that, we control that, and it will be monitored for functioning. The, the best way to deal with it is keep it for what it's for. That's, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Right. Right. We'll, 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 we'll have a little trust there. The, the state gives me a cell phone, and if I'm not at work, it's not with me. It, it stays with it, so it deals yeah. with nothing but work, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. There's nothing else on it. I don't look on there for anything else or anything like that. If I want to do it, I got my own phone for that. Yeah. But it's awful easy for it would be, yeah. Some people to smarter to yeah. look up stuff. Yeah. 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 So that, it'll be in the policy, it'll be in the package that you get yeah. to do all the right things. But practically speaking, we can't watch it every two seconds. But we can't control what's on it and what you load and don't load and all that kind of stuff. Right. Browsing is going to be a very difficult to be there 24-7 to say, 
You want to well, yeah, for five seconds. <laughs> you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna build it. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, be up yeah, to you to enforce it yourself. Right. But once you well, that once, once you learn about it, it'll be great to get the emails and then break them down into different uh, areas. Oh yeah, well, and then again, just to keep them all, because again, I don't, I don't. No, you can't I do not save them. I have enough paper at the house. Right. Right. Well, and I don't get my her phone with the. I remember, so like with you, Brian, say with the state phone, I used to ever, and then I got a cell phone, and I've never seen people with two phones. I said, I'm never doing that. And it, it wasn't a month and a half. Yeah, <laughs> I got the second phone. I said, nope, nope. Keep well, it you're separate. Right. Keep you're right. It you just, it's the only way to do it. You got to keep it separate. Yeah. You got to remember whatever you write stays there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so we'll get some, some stuff, and we can look at some stuff and see about getting a basic social media. Yeah, and I'll mix it in with the code of conduct just so you know yeah. it's on okay. there. Yeah. Know, we have an outline of one. I just want to see what the overlap is in terms of social media and code of conduct. And we find out we all need to quit, right? <laughs> I'd be so scared. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'd be so scared. I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. Uh, let me see. Reviewing the minutes. Okay. I didn't print those out. Yeah, there's no 16. You can defer the 15th if you want. Or, okay. I don't know. Uh, all right, we don't. I know it's still light. I love it. it if you're ready, I'll take a motion for the 15th. Uh, do we review the minutes for the 15th? We're good. Okay. I didn't see any changes in anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll move it in second. Second. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Town orders. No. None. That's right. I know it. It's like what we did. All right. I don't see any packets. Where is she? Um, the Dropbox. I think Mr. Shackett uh, asked to talk about that briefly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had talked about it. So. I, I, I got looking at the uh, giving. It is hard as heck to find them. I mean, you could, yeah, you can order them, but to, to find them. Um, something maybe like a. Yeah, lucky. You mailbox, the mailbox with the long, with the long right. nose yes, on it, you yeah, know, exactly. and you can just put right. the, the ballots. And they want to be able to drive up and just drop them off because of yeah. COVID and, and stuff. That's what's really spurring this whole thing is to have a, a drop box for uh, ballots and stuff. So when you, uh, you get But you can do it for the water drop. bills, too. You can yeah, do it for tax bills. You can do it for everything. Yeah. And then the, uh, the um, drop box we have up here. Um, that they wanted it so that they could just drive up and just like you do, like the one over there by uh, Sears and Morris. So that you can drive up to that mailbox and you can just put your mail into it and drive up and not get out of your rear. That's something that they're kind of talking about to try to do it. But uh, you sent out uh, one to me, but that one there, remember, yeah, you should be able to pull out on that. Remember, right? yeah, put, put it in there. Drop it, so. I don't yeah. know how you monitor that, right? I'm not saying everybody. I know there's I know there's a big uh, controversy over uh, ballots that you don't go to the ballot box and, and yeah you and put it in and have somebody check your name off check it no but yeah. that's gonna be just like it, well that's gonna be just like the mail though dropping it in here yeah, mail, yeah but you ain't ever been here in a count I don't think every so yeah when when we said we had 856 voters and we got 893 ballots. Yeah, but that isn't any different. Dropping them out there isn't any different than mailing them in. Or, or using the night box that we have already. And we've yeah, had mail in for how do. many? Travel yeah, we've been doing that for no. years. Mail in ballots, we've had them for years. And oh, this yeah. isn't any yeah. difference. Yeah, that's great. Right. Right. Somebody's there, check people in, uh, check people out. Well, when they get the ballot, they go to the ballot list, uh, the yeah. people, and check their names off. Where so they they it in twice. Okay. It's been mailed to you, um, or you stopped and picked it up. Okay, I'm stopping here and pick it up. No. Well, okay. You may. Okay, if I stop here and pick it up, they're going to check me that I am. Yeah. When I get to the mailbox and drop it in, they're going to check me I'm When they open that ballot, yes. There's a, no, there's a number right there. Okay. Well, there's a, no, you have to sign it. And on an absentee ballot, have you ever voted absentee? Yeah. 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 Well, you know, then you fill out, here's your name, and you've signed it. So that's when they, when you open the absentee ballot. Doesn't matter whether it's come in the mail or I drop it off here myself or you put it in a drop box. It's exactly the same thing. This isn't any different. This is no. just this is just not making people get out of their car and come into the building to drop it off. Oh, I thought you 
Unless I don't yeah, know. no, no. They're going to come in here. No, no, They're no. going to get him one. They're going no. to come around. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. This is just, no. and so for the same thing for paying their water bills or yeah. their light bills or paying yeah. your taxes, you know, that instead of having to get out of your yeah. car and come in here and put it in the box, you literally, like, I immediately went to one of those old-fashioned mailboxes. Yeah, you you can just drive up and drop yeah. it in. No, I, I, I thought there were other people coming in. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. This is just to so save you from getting out of your car. Well, they do it now anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're looking for a box, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, and I tried to find, uh, um, even on eBay and stuff like that, old the mailbox. That's right. It, Where it, did it did worked perfect. Long as it's keyed, it's secured. It's like yeah. a uh, focal. Where'd they so, all go? What's that? Where'd all the old, those old mailboxes yeah, go? That's uh, exactly I, but what But they I are, them. they are collector's items. They were the phone books. Would you be able to drop this off 24 7? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like, so it has to be it. it has to be something heavy and secure. Right. Well, it would be a concrete slab you're talking about for it, and uh, and then we can anchor it to the concrete slab. Four bolts, yeah, four legs. Hmm. Oh, I was gonna get Dave to help me pour concrete. Like he's got oh. prior experience. <laughs> and, uh, I, I would I would I would support him by giving him my uh, cement mixer to do the job with. <laughs> What a deal. I can do it. <laughs> so the project cost, you want to talk about that? We use volunteers for all the install and the concrete and all that. We might pay for a little bag of concrete or three or four of them. And then we actually buy a product that looks expensive because it's brand new, built the next, you know, it's built the right way. Right, so you yeah. can't get them cheap anywhere. Yeah. We've looked, so you have to pay this six, seven hundred dollars. But everything else is Donated, right, we try to figure it out pretty tight with money, so I really search, search and search. Right? That's that's a <laughs> give and take thing, yeah. Eventually, you just buy the thing in the catalog, even though you know it's probably overpriced by literally like, trying to get on sale. Like, yeah, you know, it's looking for it can take a little time to do it. It's gonna be waterproof, and the way they are, the way the one you, you sent me looked like it was that's a little overhang, you know, over the door, so you can yeah. pull out the oh, you found one, man. So it's like 700, was it? Yeah. So. Seven hundred for the box, and then we donate our time. And that, then that and could be put on the Kroberg Kroll, list for maybe Bird payback. Bird? Yeah, we'll add it. To well, that. Yeah. Maybe. No, yeah. we'll add it. Could we're, be sure. We're gonna add that to yeah. this legislature just to approve town health. And then yeah. On Friday, I think. So I asked Alice to look into that and see if the screen. Well, goes. it's one. Of the, it's one of those things you think about it, and you start thinking about it, and thinking about folks in the winter time. You know, when they're walking coming the in, to, you know, yeah. walking up the or you know, paying their electric bill or their water bill or whatever, well, right. getting that, out of their That's car. the way I do it. I, 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 I come here to go for rent and then I pay it. That way, that's yeah. on my way. Well, if they pay the electric bill and water bill, they ought uh, to uh, chip in. Chip in half the bill. Yeah. Well, I think we just want to keep this to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, you will charge them rent. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? Where about you put it, Brian? What's that? Where would you put it? You said at the bottom of the ramp here. If you're coming down the ramp, the bottom, there's a telephone pole, yeah. plus that big metal railing. Yeah. We, we tuck it in there so that it was sort of protected from plows and stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea. You'd have to you can't put it on the driver's side. Huh? You can't. Well, it's. You, uh, they have to come in, turn, yeah, and turn. turn around and go out. Yeah, yeah. But, but they can, they, they can pull out. They'll be close enough for that. Yeah. 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 yeah, They just have to figure out how to get their car there or have their kid in the passenger seat do it. Yeah, one of those things. Hopefully, none of our employees. Any other place we just saw plow damage or kid damage by yeah, that's a good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, like he said, the pole will be there. Hopefully, there won't be any wires coming from the pole that won't interfere with doing it. We just set the. Slab yeah, we can on just top. sit there and watch people trying to line up to put things in the box, right? <laughs> I know a lady that used to put breath yeah. mints into the into the mailbox. That's a good idea. But she thought it was something that was actually real, you know, at one point. That's a long time ago. Thought of that. Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, thought of that? Uh, Oh, okay. Right there we go. That was it is. It is. Okay. And then we got anything. Oh, Fit Chill? Dropbox? <laughs> the, um, sorry, the contracts for the sheriff. I 
meant to get here earlier to print those out, but I may have to have people oh, come yeah. by to sign them on the bulletin board. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the, that's right, because we put, yeah. I'll have the contracts, unless you want to wait for a few minutes while I try to get them printed up. Too. So either one will happen, depending on how you want to do it. Um, so 1111 project permit, we already talked about that issue, um, but we do have a need for the water project to pick up pace a little bit. Uh, the Amy Olson was outside and Thursday last week, I think, and Dig Safe came by and spray painted her whole lot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> of course, she didn't know anything exactly what was going on. Carol Robertson said she would keep everybody up to date, but it's almost like she doesn't say anything until something happens. So you don't have the, a couple day notice. So Dig Safe shows up. Amy calls me. What's going on? Do you like that message? But, you know, the project is a moving target a little bit. We know it's getting through its paces and getting going. If you see a Menashe truck out there and some you know, contractor gets out, just go up to him and say, hey, I'm Amy, introduce yourself and ask him where you're going to dig. Because he's the one that will know. You know, don't, don't look at plans and try to figure it out, whatever. So she did that on Friday. Good. And then on yesterday or today, this morning, Mark French calls me and says, oh yeah, they just saw cut all the church street. <laughs> so I'm like, And he didn't know about it. So anyway, the plan is going forward that there's supposed to be a go-to meeting or Zoom meeting yeah. set up every Thursday at one o'clock, which people can log into and see what's going on that week and maybe the next week. It won't be a long-term plan, but it's more of a project meeting. The town engineer, as part of our 11-11 permit, was supposed to be getting daily reports. But he's not getting those yet. So I talked to him today about trying to get the uh, engineer to frame group to start setting those to Doug Weber so Doug can monitor for us and stuff. So anyway, that's all happening now. We're just getting rolling right now, mostly because the village cleared their easement issue, which was delaying the start of work a little bit. So I do expect in the next week or two, it's that, like Susan said, Church Street getting torn up, Amy trying to figure out how to get people in and out of her building and all that other stuff that goes with what we hope that doesn't happen is that things blow up on a you know Friday afternoon where they hit a water pipe and it's eroding the road or so, you know it's one of those things where you get all the highway crew activated to help out the contractor and all that. So that's the only uh, that's the biggest you know we start to have property damage. Putting that four inch main all the way down to one thing. Four six six, six I think. So behind the so behind the row the gold garage down there by Rogers. Alley rings. That six inch pipe laying on around there. Yeah. Yeah, standard. Um, they're putting I temporary water in now, right? What's that? They're putting temporarily water in now. Well, they should be doing something for everybody because they're going to have to take out the old pipe. I don't think it's worth. They don't. They don't want any water running through the old pipe when they move it. Right. But then it'll just crumble. Right. So. Well, maybe that stuff I saw is a temporary stuff. It yeah. should be two inch or yeah. less. Yeah. Yeah. Is the old pipe here? <laughs> no, but it's it's rusted. Put it that way. <laughs> it's at least rusted. <laughs> is it is it is it iron pipe? Or is it that yeah, old uh, be yeah, it's bake, all of orange. bake like stuff there? I mean, no, no it's there. orange rust. Orange bird. The stuff. pictures I see. Orange bird was what fifties. So anyway, if that notice comes out, I'll share it with all of you, so you have a choice to yeah. you know pop in. And then I do want to pick up with Doug Weber on what he needs to do with Mark French to keep everybody as current with potential issues or changes because there's, there's always changes okay. to a contractor on this side. Okay, let's see. We have other business and notices and then we probably have to have executive session to talk about the contract. Yeah, I two, take yeah, but, okay. two quick updates. Yeah. We do need um, Susan to sign the annual memory contract. This is a Oh, okay. Annual contract for five thousand dollars that provides all our software support from Nimrick to Kim and Allison and Kristen. Okay. Uh, so if you can have a motion to sign those annual Nimrick <coughs> user agreements, that would be good. And then the second thing was the Hooper Cemetery date. I think I don't know where I am in updating people, but yeah. Vermont Land Trust had a couple suggestions to an easement language, and. Uh, Mr. Jones had a suggestion to not add gravel to this yeah. proposed easement. Yeah. So I just need an okay to go to the next step, which is to draft the 
no. right, right away for the, for the document so that the Jones family and the land trust can look at the easement before it gets yeah. Brian is very good about it. He just didn't want much gravel there when he picked up stuff and he's mulling there. Topic there. So that's okay to continue. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Before I do any more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's all I can do. And then I'll give you that after the for the number. Did you guys vote on number? Annual contract. We got to do that, right? Yeah, she got motion. So, so we so I move that the uh, board give Susan permission to sign the Nemeric yeah. contract for the sum that it says so state. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? <coughs> Anybody abstaining? Okay. Is it? Then I guess we just need to go into executive session. Okay, that's going to take a second to Yeah, take a second. Right. Get get everybody off. Where, where's the camera go? Anyway. Yeah, I got instructions. She might be out there, but she might have left. I, got, I have the instructions to lock it down. Uh, anybody online, we're going to executive session to talk about the union contract. If you want to call back, you can text me or email me. Uh, I don't expect we'll have any more business when we come out. We're going into executive session. Okay.